yourself, my friend. How can you do this to me? Ebera, I did nothing to you. Madako chose me, and I don't know why you seem surprised about that. Why do you lie so much? And what is the lie? That he didn't choose me or he loves me. Madako was interested in me. He even told my sister that he sees me as his missing rib. And what changed? You threw yourself at him. You lied against me. You told him I was a loose woman and I couldn't resist any man in this village. And what is the lie? You feel we don't know what you've been doing in this town? Even the deepest part of your heart knows that you are telling a lie. You know I am not what you paint me to be. If anyone is loose, you are. Oh, shut up before I slap your lying mouth. You want Madako to yourself? Keep him. God knows I would never be interested in any man who believes anything he hears about me. But you feel you're smart. One day, your smartness will be termed stupidity. Listen, Ebere. I have told you that you will always be beneath me. I am the center of attraction. Every man's dream and a low life like you can never measure shoulders with me. Every maiden in this village has lost count of the number of men you've given your womanhood to. You want to add Madako to the list? Be my guest. I wish you good luck. You're a fool for saying that. You have been asthmatic. Learn to live with it and stop being a sad woman. Which of my good friend, do you know why I chose to come and set up this business in this town. I did my research and I found out that a lot of projects are already springing up and more will spring up, building projects, you know, plazas, shopping malls and stuff. And of course, they'll be needing professionals to do their electricals for them. So I'm hopeful, I'm positive that to pay off. I see. Well, that's good. That's good. Um, but um, are you sure you're ready for the competition? Hmm? The competition? You have competitors. <laughs> are you ready? What competition, Uche? Come on, man. Relax. Oh, but I know this job, oh. Nah. I know this job. Listen, I can bench anybody as long as a level playing field is provided. This job, don't worry, go and sleep. I know this job. <laughs> I don't see no competition at all. He took you for one to believe in himself. Um, but then I'm also thinking, since you've rented this shop now, why not take a loan from the bank and buy some electrical fittings and stuffs and also put it here to help yourself? All I've been doing with those things. Sell them now, sockets. Ah, no, 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 ah, no, ah, you're missing, you're, you don't get the picture, you're missing it. Ah, selling is not for me. Uh, buying and selling, nah, no, it's not my thing, eh? I have a lot to do, so much. You know what? Don't worry. There's so many, so many things that I want to do in this town. But as, eh? as I do them, and as we journey on, you'll see. Eh? You just carry me along, bro. I'll carry you along. <laughs> I just want you to know that my decision to come here, is in line with my plans for my life. Hmm. You're joking, right? Why should I joke with something like that? I hear that Mother Ako has been among the notorious gang robbing people on the expressway. And they were involved in a shootout with the police. What are you saying? That Mother Ako is an arm robber and he has been arrested? Wait, you've not heard. The news is all over the village, and you, his girlfriend, is not aware. Oh, Mimi, I need to correct you on this. Madako was never my boyfriend. In fact, I can never have anything to do with such person. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Wait, wait, wait. I don't understand. 
if I can still remember, I still remember when you were eating his money, hailing him and showing him off. Why are you changing? Nothing changed. Madako is not my boyfriend, and I'm telling you the truth. He is a Beres boyfriend. He was never my boyfriend. <laughs> oh my goodness. Ha! My mama, can the light in my house is always fluctuating. My neighbor's light will be full voltage. While mine, if it is not low, it is fluctuating. The fish in my freezer, every other thing, no matter small, small things you have in the house, where you save your soup and everything, is going bad. I don't know what to do about it. That is my problem now that I want to sort out. Not this useless politics we play in a women assembly in Abo, I, 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 Abo Mini. I'm interested in that. If you're having a problem with light or electricity, why not look for this guy that came from Ekorabas? His office is down the road. He's so good in everything that has to do with electricity. Are you serious? Uh -uh, very serious. Mm -hmm. Do you not even went to Nepal? They said I should go and look for an electrician. Electrician? Mm -hmm. Akpan is the electrician. No? Immediately he finished doing all the electrical work in my house. Everything became perfect. Mm -hmm. Everything became perfect. I will go and look for him. Oh, yeah, yeah. This is good news. I'll go and look for him. <laughs> now tell me what you said happened now women assembly. <laughs> yeah. I wish you were there. Many women in our meeting concluded that you will be the next president immediately our president is off. So in my amen, let's just plan it. Let's plan on how to start. Plan what? Stop gossiping with my name. I have come to warn you for the last time. Don't make me send you out of this village for good. <laughs> Amaka, you and I do not have any problem. I don't have anything with you. Why would you come here ranting? I am not your problem. Go home. Why would you say you are not my problem? Even your late father in his grave knows you are my problem. It's obvious something is wrong with you. If not, you will not bring an innocent man into this matter. Please leave here now. And if I fail to leave, what would you do? You know what? I don't even know why I'm wasting my time here with you. When you are done ranting, you will leave. Then get ready to come begging soon. And get ready to give me back all my personal belongings that you borrowed. Borrow, borrow. Because say back one. Borrow, borrow. Can you imagine? What I am already, you cannot be. I don't know why we're dragging this meeting. Just pay me now. Eh? Pay me. I came to work for you and you promised to bring my balance of 5,000 naira. If you have it, give it to me. What is this long talk for? You really hurt me by sounding this way. Why are you this uptight? How am I uptight? I came to work for you and your mother. You people gave me your advance payment and you promised to come here with the balance of 5,000 naira. What have I done? This is the money. Okay, thank you. And I must admit, you did a very nice job. Thank you very much. But I still need you to tell me why you say that I'm uptight. What, what were we expecting? What, that I forget my balance with you? Does it mean you cannot understand that this is not about the money? Mm? What is it about? Listen, I, I don't know what you're talking about. But I have an appointment at the petrol station. I have some electrical work to do for them there. Please, if we can have this talk some other time, it will not be bad. Okay, I know where you live, so will you be upset if I pay you a visit? Amaka, listen, listen to me. I'm not from here. I came to this town to do some legitimate work and earn a living. I'm not going to get myself into this kind of distraction. It's not my style. Please. Uh, if you don't mind, I need to lock up. I have to go to the petrol station. I have work to do.
Hi. Hi. Hello. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I know this looks really, really awkward. It's almost not right to just badge on people this way. I know. Um, forgive my intrusion. Uh, it's just that I'd like to get to know you. My name is Akpan. I, I, I'm an electrician. I, I live in this town. I work here as well. You know, and um, really, like I said, this could be very much misunderstood. But I just hope you don't misunderstand me and, and just give me a listening ear. I'm, I'm, I'm stuttering. I'm sorry. You, 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 you're so beautiful. What is it? Okay, I'll just get straight to the point. Right? I, like I said, I live and I work here. And I have, I have seen a lot of women in this time, but I can tell for sure that you are the best. How can you tell that I'm the best? You don't even know me. Yeah, well, that's the essence of this conversation. If you allow us to get properly acquainted and be friends, I, then I get to know you, but I, I'm, I'm sure that I am right about what I've said about you. I, well, I don't want to be known. Uh, uh, please, please, can I, can I at least get your number? Even if you won't take my calls, I can send you text messages. Wow. Whew. Hey, Aban. Why is your heart palpitating? <laughs> Beautiful women can be quite intimidating and... <laughs> well, this one is different. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. To deceive me. You greeted this good afternoon so that it won't be obvious that it is already 6 p.m. You're picking beans. By this evening, we are having moi moi and pack for dinner. Mama, it will be ready before 8 p.m. Magic. Ebele, you are looking for my trouble. You are looking for my trouble and you will see it. Double, double, keg of fear. Mama, I'm not looking for your trouble. Don't worry. It will be ready. It will be ready by 8 p.m. You have your beans and your moi moi and. and. okay. I'll come. Okay. Mm. Meanwhile, there is this young man from Ekotabasi. He They said he's very good with light. I want him to come and help us fix our low voltage. Mm -hmm. I want you to go get him for me. Today? Oh, oh. Today? What is the time by now? How can it be today? Our problem will start when this thing is not ready. To be ready now. When it is not ready. In fact, it's see a giddy.
<laughs> Mama, what is the matter? You look troubled. Zaram. <laughs> Have you been looking at your sister lately? Have you been noticing anything? What about her? She just cooked a delicious memory and she's sleeping as we speak. I know. The reason I, 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 I called you so that we can talk. Have you been watching her? Have you been noticing anything in her character or something? Mama, you're confusing me. What are you suspecting? It's not as if I'm suspecting anything. I, I, I want you to put your eyes on your sister. I want you to watch her closely. If you figure out anything that is unusual with her, call my attention and let me know. Alright? Mama, why are you doing this? If there is anything going on, tell me. It's a shock. To come here by 6 p.m. and notice that your sister was still picking beans. Anyway, don't worry. I will do the monitoring. All right? Let me do it. I will monitor her every step, one by one, and know what is going on with her. Go back to, go back to bed. Go. Be careful so that you don't wake her up. Good night. Good night. You won't believe this. Tell me something. That Ikota Basi guy will not allow me to drink water and keep cup. You don't need it. <laughs> the guy said he cannot stop thinking about me. That I have overtaken his thoughts. He cannot stop thinking about me no matter how hard he tries. <laughs> that means that guy must be a he goat. Because I heard he goes about the village sleeping with everything on scared. That's a big lie. <laughs> My Atman cannot do a thing like that. Your Atman? Meaning you are considering him as someone you can keep? <gasps> He's the one already committing himself to me. Look at him. He is handsome, hardworking, and above all, he has a bright future. So, why won't I bend to his request? Now, let me shock you. Akman has been asking me out since he came into this village. I turned him down, but he has been on my case since then. So, please, so feeling fly. You're That's a big me. lie. Akman only has eyes for me. Keep deceiving yourself. As long as I am concerned, Akman has eyes for everything on skirt. one doing here <laughs> I know you'll be surprised to see me one Abby where are you girls going to well I'm taking a berry to Akban's shop eh to Akban's shop a berry what do you have to do with that womanizer from Ekatabas have you seen what I told you about this blessing she talks anyhow did you hear that how do you mean? Eh, uh, Barry, are you the only one who does not know about Akban's interest on practically everything that concerns women? And what's that supposed to mean? What I'm trying to say, or what I meant, is that Akban is a womanizer. Yes, he has slept with all the women in this village. And he's not tired though. That is a lie. 
That guy is a hard-working gentleman. I wonder why you all keep tainting his name in this kingdom. Mm, kingdom. Well, <laughs> my mother asked me to go and call him to fix our low voltage problem. Mm -hmm. I don't have any business with him. Mm -hmm. To fix low voltage problem. Anyway, you have to be very careful. Be careful, lo. No, be careful. Wait. Leave him. Come. Come. Be careful. That man knows how to entice every woman. Hmm. When he starts coming without his deep voice, run. If not, he will hand here. Welcome. Please, uh, sit down. No, no, no. We don't want to sit. We're just here to deliver a message. I just came to tell you that our light has a problem. Uh -huh. And if you can come and fix it for us, that, that's why we're here. Oh, I can come now. Whenever you're ready, I can come and fix it for you. You don't even know what the problem is. <laughs> hey, it's electrical work. It's my work. Eh? Once I get there, I trace the fault. I'll fix it. It's not a problem. Okay. Can you come today? Oh, no, 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 no. Today will not be possible. I'm going to fix light somewhere so you can see I'm getting ready. I'll, I'll come tomorrow. Or oh, anytime you have time. Ah. Okay? Hey, tomorrow is fine. Uh, but just in case, just know that it has low voltage in case you need to bring anything along. Uh, okay, okay. Um, I think I know what the problem might be. It's fine. Give me your number now so that when I'm coming, I call you. Or you can have my, she's my friend, and we're always together. <laughs> uh, uh, let her give me her number. Eh? At least you are the one that uh, wants the services of uh, Akwa the electrician. Uh, let me do my job. Uh, please, let me call you when I'm coming, so that you know I'm coming. 0901. Uh, wait, let me get a uh, pen and paper. It's a very beautiful place for us to talk about it. Talk about what? That guy likes you. <laughs> okay. Did you see the way he was staring at you? He has clearly fallen for you. Then he will break his legs. Uh-uh. Why did you say that? Is it because of that rubbish that blessing said? And why would you call it rubbish? Well, I took my time to observe him, and she's not far from the truth. A berry, there is nothing wrong with this guy. Did you see the way he ignored my green light? I was busy making passes at him. And he was busy drooling over you. Okay, so and because of that, you've given him all the credit? A berry. Naturally, if he's as classless as Blessing painted him, he will cash in on me. Rather, he ignored me and continued drooling over you. Well, he will continue to drool because he will not add me to the list of women that he has slept with. Never. Oh, Iberi, I've automatically confirmed that you believed what blessing, what that gossip, that low life said. What I'm saying is, we are capable of finding out the truth for ourselves. Iberi, uh, Iberi, uh, uh, please, don't think I'm interested in him. I was only doing what I was doing, simply to test him. Wait. You are joking, right? Joking. Why are you speaking as if you're not in this village? Mm -hmm. <laughs> when two gossips are seated together, the entire village is in trouble. And what is this one doing here? Blessing, watch what you say. I'll throw you out of my house. Chief, let me sit down. See, I'm here for a reason. And I'm sure. The both of you will love to hear it. See, we are not ready for your gossip this afternoon, so be cool. Mimi, go. allow her. Madam Blessing, please, give us the gist. What do you have? Thank you very much, Nimi. May God bless you. I saw a berry and Mirabel. They are on their way to Akman's house. That electrician from Ikotabasi. Hmm. 
I'm so disappointed at the way Eberi now throws herself at that useless and classless, in fact, a womanizing electrician. Wait. Is it my own Aban you refer to as a womanizer? Eh? Eh? I don't understand. Your Aban. God will bless you, bless him. God will bless you for always hitting the nail on the head. What useless nail did she hit on the head? As long as I am consigned, Akpan is for every woman that cares to have a test of him. Thank you. I, like, just like Blessing said, he is so classless and a complete woman rapper. Yes, I said it. Hi. God. Ariri. I can't believe that a berry of all people would stoop so low to allow that classless, dirty Aban to have a taste of her womanhood. God forbid I allow such character to come close to me. Never! Listen, Aban loves me. Hey! And I will not allow anyone mess around him. I will not. Let me just tell you the truth. If I want to have Akman this afternoon, it's just a call. And he will be in my house and I will have him anyhow I want. <laughs> Do you understand? So please stop feeling fly. Mm -hmm. Why are you staring at her? She's making sense. Don't mind her. Look, Amaka. Let me give you one advice. Akman is for every woman. When I say every woman, I mean every anything on skirts. Stop deceiving yourself. He's not wired to one woman. The earlier you know, the better for you. Just keep dreaming. <laughs> I'm okay, the dreamer. Sorry, excuse me. Ah, oh, madam. I've just looked around. Um, the wires are not... Um, the connections here are not right. First, it's not well ethered, and apart from the low voltage situation that you have, there's a possibility of um, electrocution in the case of a thunder strike. You really know your job, don't you? Well, this is what I do. It puts food on my table. My mother wants you to come and check her shop. I don't know if you can do that today. Ah, uh, today I'm not sure. If if you give me the advance payment, I, I still need to buy cables. I need to come with my boys. It's a lot of work trying to edit this place properly. But I'll still do the work, regardless. Uh, no, it's, it's not a problem. I'm asking because of the way you are looking at me. No, I'm just, um, I'm just wondering if you'll be able to, you know, fix this in time. Yes, yes, uh, it's in your hands. As long as you, 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 you're ready to, 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 to give me money for, for the materials that I need, I can start one. Okay, let me go and check inside. Okay, please. Thank you. Look at the land. From here now to the end of the fence. The person who owns this place, he's not living in Nigeria. Oh, seriously? Yes, yes, he's not living in Nigeria. But this one is the land. I brought you here because this is the only land that fits into the project you described. So once you pay, you can have this. Yeah, exactly. But the price is too much. How? You know, this is village. And lands in the village are not that expensive. Eh, eh, eh. I don't want to go here. I don't want to go into this argument with you. Our Eno Abomim, the land of the rising sun, is not a village in the fashion you are trying to paint. It's not. Please. Uh, please, do not misunderstand me. I'm only trying I know to... exactly what you are saying, but I need you to understand something. 
Any about me is only 20 minutes drive from the seat of government. We are in the city capital as we speak. So don't refer to this place as a as village. It's not. We are in the capital. Lands here are very expensive. You know what? The last price for this land is 6 million naira. Hmm? If you are ready to pay, you pay and the land is yours. If you are not ready to pay, no problem. You can go and buy from another town. Oh, no, 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 no. It shouldn't be a problem at all. I know. I really want to buy from you. Okay? Why? Because people who bought from you in the past have said a lot of credible things about you. <laughs> the good man, eh? I understand it. You're not going to wicked me with that sentiment of trying to sound as if I'm a good man. Because I'm a good man indeed. But because of this thing you said now, eh? I would ask you 200,000. Seriously? Yeah, yes. This land now is going for 5,800,000. Once you give me the money, the land is yours. I'm going to prepare everything so fast. Eh? And this is the final. My friend, what is this now? Can't you mind your business for once? Why are you parambulating the whole town? Even interfering in my business, you know, What is this? Can't I do my business in this town without anybody interfering? Can't you mind your business for once? Okay, my Okay, my friend. I hope I'm secured. How? Because the young man looks like a spy. Which nonsense spy? This idiot is a spy? He's nothing. Every spy in this town reports to me. I am the one who is in charge of security. Okay? So um, you don't have any problem. You are secure. What you need to do is to go and arrange the money. You have my account number already. So once I receive the alert, I will prepare all the documents that you will sign and the land is yours. Don't go to Um, In that case, I'll have to consult my lawyer first. Uh, don't finalize everything tomorrow. I don't have any problem with the lawyer. <laughs> That's not my problem, but I need to make something to become very clear. If you bring in your lawyers, whatever charges, whatever commission that they are going to collect is not my business. You will pay all the charges. The total amount of money that must be credited in my account is 5 million 800,000 naira. Back on. Um, my friend, you don't have any problem about that. <laughs> no money is not the problem. I know you, that. Nah. <laughs> I'm sufficient wealth. Of course, that's okay. why I gave you this land. And, uh, but, and if you are, by the time you are done with this place, I can equally, you know, give you this one so you can be that that millionaire who lives by the two sides of, of one road. No go look at go look at it. You want to go? I will still link my friends yeah. to you too. Because I see that you... I don't have any other business than to sell that. That is what I do. Let's move on, let's move on. All right, grandpa. Oh, no, 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 no. See, this is the height of it. It seems the king and his councilmen have all been bribed. If not, why would they keep quiet while they make themselves of our lands? Baby, stop bothering yourself about that. It's obvious no one is bold enough to face him. <sighs> oh, I cannot fold my hands and watch that bloody fool sell our future. Someone has to be bold enough to stop him. And that someone is definitely not my boyfriend. Mirabel, I beg you in the name of God, don't even try to stop me, please. Don't try. Huh? Someone has to be bold enough to put a stop to every resistance in this community. Don't stop me. And you think you are bold enough to face him? You want to die, Abby? It's obvious you don't value your life again. They have tried and tried and tried for long and finally discovered that you are unstoppable. A berry, the number one. Well, if that was a genuine compliment, I'd say thank you. But if you're up to something mischievous, I'd say come off it because I am not interested. 
You see why I say you're the champion? Because you just legit carelessly. I can never get angry with you. You know why? Because you have so much respect for constituted authorities. And who is the constituted authority, if I may ask? You? Nope. I'm Jukwese. I call him the big daddy. He wants to have a brief meeting with you. Just come and see him. And who is he? Um, <clears throat> you see, he's right there. Call him the chairman of clique of men. The one that owns this town. You see this ground where this town puts up? And somebody get out. Naeem and they talk about. Trust me, just come and see him. You'll like it. Deal with me like ghost move. The berry number one. Number one. Deal with me. You really want to know why I closed my account with our Enabom Community Bank? I will tell you, it's very simple. Listen, I closed that account because you started to play games with me. I will tell you to meet me somewhere and you will be giving me excuses. And I, and I, and I call that card. I have already opened the account with another bank. We are a very good girl, is my account officer. <laughs> Even with your name. <laughs> Uh, listen, uh, that's a very simple thing. If you want me to bring the account back with all the money inside, you go let it and I'm back. gonna add. It's a very simple thing. I will do it, but that will be on the condition that you will tell me you have changed. You will do whatever thing I want you to do at any time I want you to do it. Okay. okay. You know, I, I will call you back. I will call you back. A very the beautiful world. How are you today? Good afternoon, sir. I'm surprised you know my name. That means you did not listen to my explanation. Um, well, sitting here is the chairman of clique of men who own this town. See, he is stronger than the 5G network. He knows everybody by their names. See, now small difference in God, just small difference. Impressive. Very impressive. Uh, please, uh, come and sit down. Uh, you, you, you may leave us. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Big Daddy <laughs> sits with you in the middle of the road. <laughs> For what? Why? Huh? Listen, I, I, I saw you when you walk past that road, moving down. And I, 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 I never liked it. I was actually surprised when I saw you cross that place. Walking slowly, you should at least be using an Okada. That's why I asked my boy to go and call you. You shouldn't be walking around. You understand what I mean? Well, I'm only covering a short distance. I don't need Okada. Well, I'm not buying that. See, eh? Jukwe is here. He's going to give you the telephone number of the chairman of our Enua Bombing Okada Riders Association. Right. You have the number. So that anytime you want to go anywhere, just call the chairman and he will send one very wonderful Okada that will come and take you there. Don't pay anything to anybody. We, ha you we have more than 2,000 Okadas under our control in this town. They are paying every day. And uh, you have the number. So everybody needs your energy. Your number. Is that why you stopped? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just take the number. number. Yeah, numbers, boys, boy. Not what the number, only all your crime, I'm why they Boy, just call the number, she will cram it. Um, why they will number? Oh, be a dishes, boy. Yeah, yeah, boy, they are number, go cram, no. Don't bother yourself about the uh, actual will you. Boy, they are not more than why they will not be in the ring. No, 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 but you, you made a mistake. You should just call the number to her. She will cram it. Ah, she will cram the number. Woman. She's very intelligent. She don't do anything. That's how you say that get fine like daddy gifts. <laughs> very intelligent. It's a very good one. Don't worry. <laughs> I really don't understand. You see, 
The person who gave me these gifts simply asked me to give them to you and not to reveal his identity. I still don't understand. How, if I may ask? Someone asked you to give me gifts and not reveal his identity? And you came here to do same? It makes you think I'll be interested. Okay, look at it this way. Okay, a gift of God in your life will always attract more gifts to you. Do not turn them down. Please. Think. I think I know who they're from. <sighs> You'll like them. Have a nice day. But why is he doing this? Hello, boss. Yes, I have delivered your message successfully. Yeah, she almost refused to collect the gifts. <laughs> but then I had to bring in the word of God to convince her more. So she collected them. Yes, I'm out of the place now. Okay, I'll meet you. This is the most irresponsible thing I've ever seen. What is irresponsible about this? Oh, everything is irresponsible about it. How, how will you accept a strange gift given by someone you don't even know? I think I know who gave that gift. He doesn't think I know, but I know. Who is the person? And how you show the person you have in mind is the person who initiated the process. It's Akban. The electrician. Which electrician? Wetu. The guy from Ikot Abasi. He is the only one that can do that. And I know he wants me to confront him, but I won't. I'm still trying to understand what makes you think he's the one. Well, I can't stress my head because I know he's the one. He may not be the one. Agree with me that you have messed up by accepting a gift when you don't know the source. You know, you know I wasn't going to accept the gift. But I know he wants to be mysterious. So how... Take it from me, sister. Mirabel is the only true friend you have. Always listening to her. What is this one saying? I watch from afar. I see things that you cannot see, no matter how much you look. You can see things under your nose, but I can see them. Hmm. Madam psychologist, you know I'm not in the mood for your admonitions this time around, please. Like I said, many are gifted, but very few can use their gift. I am gifted. Be happy you have someone like me, a sister. Be happy.
Malicha, the beautiful, brilliant, and amazing Chizaron. Blessing be blessed. The only lady whose tongue performs magic. What? Chizaron? Is that supposed to be an insult or a compliment? Feel free to read any meaning into it. But I feel I just told you the truth. Anyway, is she around, your sister? Hmm? Look, she's around. I need to see your sister now. There's something very important I need to tell her right away. Hope is not something so important because my sister just left the house. Hi. To where? She said she's going to your house. She has something to discuss with you urgently. Hey. She just left to my house. Hey, in that case, I need to rush back to the house now. Eh? I'll see you later. Go, go, go. So hey, you meet up with her. <laughs> Where's Blessing? I just heard her voice now. She went home to mind her business. What's that supposed to mean? Sister. I have told you to stay away from that gossip manipulative small witch. But you won't listen. I am helping you to do so. You will not disrespect me. You are my younger sister. You will not disrespect me. If you have a problem with blessing, I suggest you go and sort it out and stop meddling in my affairs. I will not warn you again. Huh? What is the meaning of this? Your Majesty, I am wondering how many more lands Ebigwe will have to sell before he will be stopped. You have just told us about this. Trust me, it will be handled. Um, Igwe, may, may your reign be long. But, but, but Igwe, it seems as though there are people in this our land who are above the constitution. No, no, no. Nobody is above the constitution of this land. I am happy that you have brought this to my knowledge. I am assuring you that I will take care of it. I will. Oh, yes, I will. Uh, yes. <laughs> Igwe. Thank you, Igwe. <laughs> but, but, why would they be Igwe do a thing like this? Amamo. This is community land, and uh, it's not for anyone to use as a place. Only refuse here. Like I said, I will take care of it. Igwe, may you live forever. Igwe, I'll take my leave now. It's okay. Igwe. Ichi Uh, yeah. I want you to look into this matter and give me feedback. Okay. I'll do that, Your Majesty. I'll do that. I'm so excited, like I'm over the moon, to think that I, Yuchi, would be the one to stop Ibigwe from committing all the atrocities he's been committing in this community. No, I'm excited. <laughs> My love, I'm so happy about this. But I just hope Ibigwe won't come after you when he learns that you reported him to the king. Ibigwe is nothing. Nothing but an empty, noisy gong. Let him come and face me. Huh? Uche. Uche. I don't know why you like playing with your life, oh. You may not like Ebigwe, but your hatred has not diluted the fact that Ebigwe is a very deadly man in this kingdom and who is capable of challenging anyone who faces him. 
I have started challenging him and I will not stop till I bring him down. Let him come and hit me. You should be happy. You should be happy. This is the champion of this community. Eh? What are you talking about? Let's worry about that one later. For now, but you need to take care of me. <laughs> come on. I ask you to give me feedback on the report we received in council. How come you're back here almost immediately? Your Majesty, I have given your request a very critical thought, and I believe I should guide you accordingly. And what exactly do you mean by that? Believe me, Your Majesty, it is better we look away. Yes, trying to stop Ebiwe and his gang can only bring in security to this land. Remember how we used to sleep with one eye closed? So you mean we should allow them rob us of our lands in broad daylight? We have enough lands, Your Majesty. We have enough lands. Look, trying to stop a big way can only be counterproductive. I don't think I comprehensively understand your argument. I'm sure you understand what I'm saying, Your Majesty. Or would you rather we sleep with both eyes open every night? No, is that what you want? Look, making a big way the youth leader and head of security brought peace to us. Let us not compromise that peace. I... Isha Guzzi, I can't believe this. You mean who said the church rat had the gods to report me to the king? As who? Does he want to die? Nah, you see, it has not got into that. We don't have to kill for, for nothing, you know? Yeah? All we have to do is lay low. You see, I tried my best to make sure the king does not do anything against you. And he's not going to do anything for now. Yes. Why are you telling me about it? Is that not the reason I pay you the kind of money I pay you every month? And I'm for you to be saying wonderful things about me before the king? Uh -huh. Am I not doing my job? I'm doing my job. You see, all I want you to do is help me out here. Let's not sell any more lands for now. Just hold on. I don't understand why you are making impossible request. If we are not selling lands, how then do we raise the kind of money we spend every month? Is there another thing I do if not to sell lands in any abomination here? Yeah. When well, my call was, hey, big way. Hey, big way. You cannot claim you don't know the type of king we have. See, that man can go wild when disobeyed. But let's just lay low for now. Cool down. Let things blow over. Then we can even sell the palace. Uh, but the man should concentrate on his palace and stop doubling into lands. Only one Malmakana. We can get him a lesson. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we do. Ah! <laughs> the one with the beauty of your goddess. How Good are afternoon. you? Good afternoon. I came to. I came to ask why you haven't come to fix the lights like you said you would. I did not forget now. Eh? <laughs> I did not forget. We agreed that I'll come tomorrow. Eh? Uh, look, I, I don't have a uh, history of forgetting appointments. I just came to see if you remembered. <laughs> I remembered. Uh, listen, let me tell you something. Even if I forget every other appointment, yours, I'll never forget. Why? Because you are beautiful. Look at you. Thank yeah? you for the compliment. I'll leave now. Uh, already? Uh, that was fast. Stay with me now, stay with me now too, please, I beg you. Do I look jobless to you? No, 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 that's what I'm saying, just calm down. But the, the truth is, I, I've been looking for a way to say this to you, but now that I hear you're here, I'll just... I, I like you. I hope that you're not offended, but I really like you. Please, please, uh, if you can just agree to be my friend, you know, spend time with me, get to know me, let me also get to know you. I like you from the depths of my heart. I'm me and me. I'm not interested. Please, just look somewhere else. Please, look, it, it can work. It, it can really, really work. You never can't. Look, I know a lot of men say this all the time, but I like you from the depths of my soul. Please, I cannot get you out of my thoughts. Every time I see you, I, I'm always, please, even as I speak with you right now, I'm shaking. I don't know what you want, but I don't have anything to say for now. Just give me some time now, you know what I want. Huh? Ah. Oh. 
always play hard to get. Ah! <laughs> ah! But this girl is fine. Uche, 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 the wannabe hero of our land. As you just find her, she just choose to die for other people. Why? Will you shut up there? Why are you charlatans blocking my path? Huh? What's the meaning of this rubbish? Really? Yes. Why are you playing with thunder? Uche. But do you want the thunder to strike and Bring you down to zero? Is that what you want? Okay, me chego no. Hang on, hang on, hang on, So because they call you thunder now, everybody should run away from this village for you, huh? Look at this guy. Listen, Uche. <laughs> I swear, I swear, I go waste you. They're not gonna see your dead body buried. No need to tell you so. The <laughs> bono. The roaring lion catches no game. Huh? I am the true son of thunder. And there is nothing, nothing absolutely two of you can do. Then you'll listen to me, you share. There is only one reason I am still tolerating you, which is I will not tell you because you are a fool. But in your life, don't allow what happened to happen again. Because if it happens again, I swear to God, you will disappear. In fact, you are going to die, and when you die, there will be no cops to be buried. Don't make it happen. Don't go get caught. I'm guessing I'm not going to Uchi. Uchi, they get problem with everybody when they answer Uchi. Look. The death that kills the puppy does not allow it to perceive the smell of its excretes. I will allow you go today. Not beside the fear you'll die. But my give you scholarship. If only you will call your Uche to order. Next time, a good day bloody. Get out! Get out! Uche! I said get out! I am a true son of my father and there's nothing you can do! There's nothing you can do! You did not him! Ah, ah, Uchi! <laughs> you are just the person I've been waiting for. You have no idea what just happened. Ah, ah! Ebene just left this place. Eh? She just left this and I was trying to get her attention. She was doing shakara for me. You know how women can be now? And I was thinking to myself, what am I going to do to make this girl understand that she means a lot to me? Mabas, mm. if that girl gives me an opportunity to show her love, which my life is complete, which my life is settled. Do you know what I call her? I call her the beauty that looks like a goddess. Eh? But I need your help. I need your help. You are dating her friend, so all you have to do is to help me, eh? So that I can help myself. You understand? Eh? Which, what is it? Boss. Oh, eh, 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 wait. Boss, this is wrong timing now. Eh? You didn't even look at my face before reciting this your love poem. I didn't see your face, and your face was that way. What, what is it, Uchi? Eh? Eh, wait, 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 wait. Are you suffering from heartbreak? Ah! <laughs> you cannot have a problem with your girlfriend now. Hey! You can, you, if, if you have a problem with your girl right now, you're going to disfigure my future. Eh? Because a belly is my future. See, what you're going to do, you're going to go back. Even if you are the one that is right, you have to beg your girl. When you settle, you now tell her my situation so that she can help me talk to a belly so that my situation too can be settled. Eh? Don't, 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 don't do this. Now. Why are you doing this to me now? What am I doing? What eh? is the point? Because you're serious. What is it? We are not talking about women here. This is not a woman matter. Huh? Okay. See, boss, I'm telling you that I just escaped being lynched, mobbed, killed 
by that age, with that tout and his gang, he almost ran me over. And you're here talking about woman, a woman, a love, love. Who has time for that? Maybe with that, that, that out. He, he almost, he almost ran me over. Oh, yeah, calm down, calm down, calm down. Yeah, calm down, we just need to come up with a plan. Calm down. Calm down. The, the sea boss. Let's leave what the problem was. Listen, we need, we need to build a network, a network of like minds. Yes, because we need to take our kingdom back. Amaka, I don't understand you. How can you say that Ikora Abaseletushan is your boyfriend? Why would you say things like that? Or have you not been seeing him in my house? I only see him when he comes to fix your light though. I have gist though. I have gist. Hey! In fact, this my gist is only for those who have ears. And it's strictly for those who can listen. Listen, please. I am not in the mood for your gist. Take it somewhere else. Mm. Wow. With this singular statement, it means that you have ears for my gist. And the gist is for you. In fact, it's for the both of you and you must listen by fire by force. Be a, be a, be a blessing. We, we are discussing an important issue before you rudely interrupted us. So if you don't mind. Mm. But this is how I pay my bills. Yes. That is how I pay my bills. I interrupt people who have nothing to do and give them something to do. I don't know what that means, but if you don't mind, just go back from where you are coming from. <laughs> and the gist starts now. Bam. Could you imagine? You've not heard that Ikota Abasi, the electrician, now buys flowers for a berry. In fact, he buys her so many gifts, special gifts at that. Shut up and say what you know. My dear, I am not telling you what I heard. I am telling you what I witnessed. In fact, I saw a berry coming out from his house this morning. It's possible she slept there last night. That's a big lie. It's impossible. Mm. My man cannot look her way. Let alone buy her gifts. Mm. Amaka, please, just be calming down small, small. Don't dismiss her like that. What if she's saying the truth? And what if she's not saying the truth? <laughs> now, let me shock you. I think Blessing is saying the truth. Thank you. How? Mimi, you are a darling. In fact, you are the international queen. All you did is your head. Blessing, <laughs> you know what? Your welcome here has expired. And I want you to leave my house right now. Mm. Mm. Anyway, if I must leave, I am going with Mimi because we are the only ones seeing the handwriting on the wall. There is no handwriting on the wall here. Mimi is useful to me. You are the bearer of bad news and you are the one I want to leave here right now. Amaka, I am the bearer of bad news. Mm -hmm. You say this to me? No problem. I will leave. But mind you, I will never just you again. I will never come to your house again. Stay in your house. Let me stay in my house. <laughs> Born in serious notes. You may continue deceiving yourself, even when you know I'm telling you the truth. There is a strong element of sense in what she just said. Please don't patronize me. Blessing is a curse. And I don't need curses around me. To be honest with you, I never asked him to buy me a gift. I've warned him to stay away from me, but he wouldn't listen. I don't know what to do again. So you mean he's been buying you gifts? <laughs> and asking you out? Yes, but I rejected him outrightly. I can never have anything to do with a womanizer like him. And let me tell you, he goes about sleeping with different women in this village. I even heard I'm not the only one he buys gifts for. Wow. So he's really a womanizer. <laughs> that is very true. That guy is very, very useless. And I can't wait for the day our youth will gang up 
and give him the beating of his life. Seriously. And I think that guy sleeps with married women. So what? <laughs> they did. I heard everything Mimi told you. But in as much as I am still confused, I still don't want you to believe her. There is more to what she said. And what do you know? Please, leave me alone. I feel that Apan's only crime in life is his cuteness. So don't allow people to destroy what you already feel for him. What makes you think I feel anything for that woman, Isa? Eh, uh, Chizaram, leave me alone. Sister, you can try as much as you can to deceive yourself. But you can't deceive the gifted one. My gifted sense and gifted eyes see them all. You are dying for this guy. The earlier you accept it, the better for us. Calm down, are we still on this? See the way you're fuming. Oh boy, calm down. Calm down. I understand how passionate you are about the situation at hand, but <laughs> I have to apply wisdom here, Uche. I am not from this town. I have to be very careful. I'm not about to start making enemies with people. Eh? But boss, boss, you need to understand that you owe us your allegiance and everything. Because all the money you make is from here in our land. And whatever concerns us then, must of necessity concern you. Well, Boss. I have not said that. Good afternoon, Apan. Good afternoon. Boss, mm -hmm. I can check that, please. No problem. It's fine. Apan, you've not been picking my calls. That is because I have been working. I expect you to understand that. I've been working. I have work to do here. Eh? I've been working. Amaka, please. You've been working, but you have not been working when it comes to a berry. What do you even mean by that? You, you think I don't know? You think I don't hear how you've been throwing yourself at her? And even if you know, how is it your business? Amaka! How is my personal life your business? Is something wrong with you? Eh? Look, this is my place of work. Okay, I'm not, I'm not having this. I am not going to have this here. This is my place of work. You're not having what? I'm not having what you're about to sell. Why are you here? Eh? Look, I have told you countless times. I am very busy. I am not going to begin to have some bedroom talk with you where I do my business. It is not right. Please, you have nothing else to say. Just please leave. Happen. Amaka, leave. Home? 
I have a gift to deliver to the number one. The number one. The number one. Brightest of them all. My lady, this is for you and I know you know the sauce. I know the sauce. But what makes you think I will accept these gifts? And please, if you don't collect these gifts, I'll be in big trouble. Well, go and tell that woman, Niza, that I will not accept his gifts. Tell him I said that his cover has blown and tell him I said he should stop being stupid. I can't possibly say that to him. He will kill me. Please. No. Tell him she said thank you. Thank you. Chizaram, return the gift. Thank you, number one. Chizaram, I said return the gift right now. Did you not hear him say he will be killed if you do not collect the gift? Please, I don't want him dead. Oh, so what are you now? A guardian angel. I still remain your sister. Who wants the best for you? She's around. Go and return that gift. Don't come back here with it. Are you still here? Are you still here? I will take the back door. Because I need you to go all out. Get me every information you can get on her friends. You see that girl? I want to make her my second wife before the end of this year. Big Daddy, this dream seems impossible. You know, I do not see a period like someone who agreed to be a second wife. I mean... Hey, will you just shut up? Shut up if you don't have any reasonable thing to say. Listen, I have the money to get whatsoever I want to get here in Awenua Bomeme. I have a lot of plans in place. And by the time I execute the plans I have, you see her better. She will be begging to be my second wife. Big Daddy, I know you are capable. I know you have the money. You are heavy-witted. But um, I don't know how to explain this to you. Explain what? You know, most ladies who really like money are not moved by money when it comes to deciding for a life partner. Then that is where you come in. Become busy. Find out those things that move her and report back to me. Let me tell you, no matter what it is, that can move that girl. I am going to provide it and move her. Okay? So get busy. No problem. Gosbo? Consider it. No anything. If there is anything, you call me. No problem. Pick it up from there. No problem. It's Bumare. Mama, Chizaram is disrespecting me so much in this house and I cannot take it anymore. Ha. Chizaram, why are you disrespecting your elder sister? If telling my beloved sister the truth, if wanting the best for her is disrespect, then I have to ask for forgiveness in advance for future disrespect. I beg your pardon? I'm sorry, sister, but I cannot sit and watch while things go wrong. No. Mama, did you hear that? Chizan, mind how you talk to your sister. She's your elder sister. You are not, you, you are not mates. We do. Why am I even disturbing myself with this? Two adults. Still a bad one, let me rest. What is that? Mama, ask sister what I did to her. Just because I told her not to judge Apan wrongly. Sister said I disrespected her. That is it. Coach Akba. Oh God, I cannot lie to you. No, no, no. Oh God. You see that quotation that I, 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 I came up with? That is the lowest I can go. I'm telling you. And it's because it is, I want to use the best materials for you. I'm not like all these people that you give work and then they, you, they do your work and then the next day again, you, you call them the second time and you start quarreling. No, now. I have a reputation and it is only good that I do a good job for you, sir. Ha! <laughs> sir, you called me because you know that I am the best. Yes, sir, I'm the best. I'm going to use only Nigeria cables for your work. I'm not going to use China.
Okay. Yes, sir. I, you can go ahead and consider to give somebody else the job, sir. But I can assure you that you are going to wish you called Akpan for this job. I, I ask your friend, your friend that I did the entire wiring of his house. Ask him. Even the cables that I use for the conduit wiring. Ask him. Everything original. I know my quotation might be high. Eh, but. <laughs> Sir, I'm not being difficult. And I also have to make some little profit from this thing. Eh, this is. Okay, sir. If you call me back, fine. But if you don't, I'll still understand. Okay, sir. Thank you. Is it true? What your sister said, is it true? I don't understand. Is it true that Akban is asking you out, but you refused? Mama, this is very odd and uncomfortable. I can't be discussing this with you. I better check why I'm talking as a concerned mother who wants the best for her own daughter. I understand, Mama, but I'm still very uncomfortable discussing this with you. No, now. You shouldn't. I should be your best friend. In fact, the first friend you should know. You're confident. I'm equally your mother. So you should be free to discuss anything whatsoever with me. And I mean every meaning of that word. You're absolutely correct, Mama. But this particular pressing is one I do not want to discuss. If you ask me, Akman is a very hardworking man. He's a very good man. He seems to me a good person. And I believe you're wise enough to take the right decision. You know what is good for you? Do it. There is no need getting yourself all bucked up. Since you said Abba loves you, I can never cheat on you. Then watch a bear make a fool of herself. So when you told her that Abba bought you a gift, she did not confirm it. She did not. But from her countenance, I know that there is something going on between them. I need to teach that girl a lesson. And when I'm done with her, no man will ever look her way. What are you planning? Something I will handle the loan. I do not need you to assist me on this. That man is the one I want. And anyone that wants to come between us, we feel the fury of an angry woman. If you will listen to me, I will advise you not to pick a fight because of any man. They are not worth it. Abman is the one I love. He is the one I want to spend the rest of my life with. Abman is the one I see as my man. And trust me, I will go any length to silence the fools who are looking at him. This girl is wasting a lot of time. Big Daddy, just relax now. She will definitely come around. How are you, Blessing? I am fine. You sent for me 
Sir, is it because of a berry? Listen, blessing, I know both of you are friends. I called you here to get very specific definition. I want you to define to me the, the composition of that friendship. Who is she to you? Sir, to be honest, I don't know anything about a burial. In fact, I don't know a berry. I don't know. Do you actually think I'm a, I'm a fool or something? I gave you specific task of something you must do for me. You didn't do it. And here you are, denying your friend. No. No, sir. I'm not denying her. But I'm telling you the truth now. Me and Eberi were just living in this village. We are living in the same village. In fact, with the true definition of friend, Eberi is not my friend. I just see her once in a while, we greet, that's all. It's Mirabel and Amaka that are her close friends, yes. Are you possibly telling me that I wasted my time with you or what? No, no sir, please. It's not what I said sir, I'm sorry sir. Okay, sir, I have an important information that will help you to get what you want. What is it? Ah, sir. You are still harsh now. I was thinking that this my special information would have calmed you down. Will you just sh shut up and stop provoking me? You have information for me. What is the information? I'm sorry, sir. Please, I'm sorry. I don't want to offend you. I'm sorry, sir. Um, sir, the, the thing is that Mirabel, Amaka, and Mimi are Iberia's close friends. Eh? But the person she confides in very well is Mirabel. If you get Mirabel, you'll be able to get everything you need about Iberia. Are you sure of this? I'm very sure, sir. Very, very sure. Absolutely sure. 100% sure, sir. Get out. Eh? Sir, I should get out. Like, I should leave. Yes. Big Daddy, don't talk now. Nice. Send me you go. Your time will expire. Eh? Uh -huh. He's a good man. He cannot ask me out like that. At least, there should be commission for this important information I gave now. Something to you know, Lachaka. Yes. You know, I swear before you come, Abby, they forget the meaning of my name. You don't wish like. I suck. Calm down. You don't wish like this. Why you? Calm down, this girl, before my name, bigger can I go? I go, I go compose you. I thought you were a good man, no? You're coming down, no? What's you yeah, allow your color to deceive you. Be rainbow. Oh. Eh? You know, if not because I'm already committed heavily to a berry, this one has something that someone can still go for. Mm. Oh. You gotta leave that one. This one has perishable fruit. It's not gonna last. Go quick sour. No sass every year, yellow, yellow. Be like tomatoes where not gonna last way. Let's focus on the berry. Something as if you have tested it. Big daddy, you suppose no me now. You quite say you no need to ask again. Now, this is my science. This is my science eye to the view. My science eye just to the view everything. I they see the future of that girl. That girl goes sour. Even if you put up a freezer self, it goes sour before they break. But they do pete 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 for bed. Hey! This everywhere is a beast. This man is an unfortunate thunder. He strikes anyhow, any day. So this important information I gave to this man with my muscle, he could not give me even Shishi! To La Chaka. Hi! This man is wicked. Next thing you will hear them say they are going to choir practice. What exactly are they singing there? Nonsense. I'm not good. I don't know how. Hey! I'm not good rubbish. Wait! Obele! Are you talking to me? What are you insinuating? Wait, oh! Are you indirectly talking to Blessing? Blessing, are you not the one that. Directly came down from every best motto. An wrong one. Eh? Let me ask you, what are you doing with a married man? 
Hey! Where do? Obili. What are you insinuating? Are you saying that I'm not going out to Toby Go or what? It's not about insinuating, you know. Come on down. I'm not insinuating. See, let me tell you, eh? I saw you, Kolo Kolo, half on get direct. What are you saying? I know you are digging it down, down, down below with that holy gun. Eh? But let me shock you. <laughs> let me shock you. One day, eh? One day, a good man will come and meet me over there, my guy. I'm interested in one of these leftovers. Do you know what will happen? I will sit him down. Hmm? And I will tell him what will happen. I will tell him how it will be. Shut up! Shut up your dirty mouth! Who are you calling leftover? You are a fool for saying such rubbish to me. Eh? In that way, bless you, you are the bigger fool. Hey. In fact, you are extra fool. What are you saying? What, what, what are you talking about? I know you. I know you from head to the toe. I know how many of you that have been sleeping with every way. Your names are here. Eh? Your names are here. Let, let me tell you. You, eh? Every way plus uh, uh, blessing. Four times. Plus today. Hey. Five. Let me add it. God. Plus today. Five. Don't Fine. worry, you see what you are. Uh, uh. Same thing. Don't worry, when the good man will come, I will show you. You have not seen anything, sir. Can, who, 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 what kind of trouble is this? This useless boy now will go to the. To, will go and tell everybody what did not happen. Hey! God! What kind of trouble is this, eh? So, when did you say your parents are coming back? Forget about my parents. I don't understand you these days. You no longer give me attention. I don't understand what that means. Amaka, I give you money, good money. The kind of money I don't even give my wife. What other attention is superior to money? I told you I I have something for you to take care of and you don't even want to hear me out. What, what is your problem? Why are you sounding very ungrateful? You need to learn how to be grateful, Abaka. I told you there is a problem I am trying to face right now. Something that if I face it, is going to be for our own good. And you are still having the time to talk about yourself. That has been selfish. Stop that. When I solve this problem, you will be fine, okay? Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. See you. I'm out of here, man. Stop What's the meaning of this? I bring you good news. A big daddy over there wants to see you. Go and tell your big daddy that I, Mirabel, don't want to see hey, you. Hey, hey, shut, shut, shut up your mouth there. What's the meaning of this rubbish? Are you not happy that you're among the living? Eh? I mean, if you say this is grand, if you have to collect your dead body. See, you respect yourself. Don't allow me to force you. Just come and see big daddy. Leave me alone now. If you lay your hands on me again, I'll make sure I lock you up. It's okay, it's okay. It's more soon I just touch you. You don't do you don't, you don't like say you want me at. You are not very you are not you. Just come and see Big Daddy. And it's a privilege, it's an honor. Come and see Big Daddy. What if I refuse? What will you do? Hey! hey. What can you do to wait, me? Wait, 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 wait. Now, wait till I know they like now, then be this. Wait till I go do you, not go like her. Wait till I go just do you now, you not go sweet for your body at all. Even your family people, they go verse. So just come now, just follow me now. Je, je, je. Listen, let me warn you. You think I'm one of those girls that intimidate in this village and get away with it? If you try any nonsense with me, if you try anything with me, I will make sure I deal with you. Mm. I'm not fair. Olodo. So you don't know say you be one, you day among those girls. Oh, yeah, follow me now. Follow me. Follow me. 
You there among those guests, you know. Come alone. on, go see Big Daddy. Leave me alone, no. Come on, come on. Move this thing. Big Daddy, be coming down. Calm down, my friend. Every time you're vibrating like this, you're not even my spec. I don't know why you're doing all these things. What do you mean, man? Calm down. Why are you harassing me? Will you shut up your mouth there? You know they locked me up again. They lost the policeman number. Big Daddy. Permit me to teach this girl proper definition of harassment. Permission denied. You see this girl here? She's a friend. A friend of the house because she's friends with a bear. And anybody who is close to a bear as a friend is a friend of the house. So allow her. What do you want from me? Get in the car. I'm not going anywhere with you. You don't need to flare up. I said it already. I'm not going to eat you. I want to take you to a place where the atmosphere is controlled because there are some very specific questions I want to ask you. And I want you to feel the last to answer those questions. Get in the car. Every way. Ask whatever question you want to ask here. I'm not entering your car, let alone going anywhere with you. <laughs> Mirabe, the lioness of Enua Bomb, me. You know you took after your father when it comes to being poor. And I'm very proud of you. You know, when you are doing all this for all these young boys, they will be checking. But this is a way you, you can't do anything to me. So get in the car. Bold girl. <laughs> Please don't patronize me, sir. Ask your question, I'm listening. Ah. What is happening here, right? No problem. Mirabel, Mirabel. Looking so nice. Very simple. Yeah, like a, you want yeah. us to hold the meeting here, right? Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> Everything cool and calm. Yes! Mirabel! Come and sit down. <laughs> I beg your pardon. I should come and sit on a mat with you along the road. As what? And what, please, as in? Big Daddy, permit me, my bag of masses. Eh, 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 calm down, calm down. Have you seen the reason you don't have any woman in your life? Everything is not by power, not by muscle. I'm gonna get them all, okay? Shh, 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 Yeah, 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 but can you make bigger can I make the bigger can I run and can I get an hour now? Stay there, I'm going on my own now. So stay here, don't touch me. Kill the quam. We are no land now. I'm going to make you a bang. Don't touch me, don't touch me. Don't do stay there. No, no, there. I'm okay, but stay there. Banana. I told you you're not even my spec. I don't know what you're afraid of. Sit down. Good. Yes. Aban, see, let me tell you the truth. In case you are looking for a wife, eh, do not look here. I'm telling you the truth. There are no wives here. That's not a very charitable thing for a young man that is from this land to say. Eh? It's not. I beg to disagree. Obele, I have seen some very beautiful women. Oh yes, uh, very good ones too. It might also interest you to know that I have decided that this is where my wife will come from. Ha! Yeah, yo. Ah, but you have made a very big mistake. Let me tell you something, eh? If you do exactly what you just said now, eh? You will end up with the leftovers. I know them. What are you talking about? Okay. You see that useless man that sells our land? That fool that sells all our lands? Eh? And his cabas? They have been sleeping with all the guests. They do it so openly and cheaply in a way that shows that those guests are very useless. I have evidence. I have the time and the dates. I have everything here. So I'm wondering why someone would want to punish their unborn children by making one of them their mother. Uh, Obele, you use very strong words. <laughs> Take it easy. This is your land. You're supposed to defend your land. But I know what I'm saying. I have evidence. I also know what I'm saying. I've seen some good women here. Come on. Huh? Come on. 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 Come on.
Listen, don't worry, all right? See, I'm going to warn him to stay away from you because I'm not afraid of him and his gang. You should be. That man is not nice. I'll try my best to avoid him and his gang. I don't want to involve you, Che. Oh, God, Mirubel. Are you seriously saying I should stay calm and do nothing while somebody threatens my girl? No, girl. No, will never happen. Won't let it happen. He did not threaten me. He just asked me about a berry and requested I should be giving him information about her. A berry? I hope you're not considering that. <sighs> Mirabel, I hope you're not considering that. Do I have a choice? Look, Uche, I know a berry is my friend. And I should not betray her. But right now, I don't have a choice. Excuse me. I can't believe this. Mirabel. What do you mean? I'll... What did he give you? What did he promise you? What do you mean you don't have a choice? We all have choices and we make it. See, listen to me and listen very attentively. You will not work for that fool. I repeat, you will not work for that idiot. Period. I started with him talking tough. Then he touched me where it mattered most. And I decided to respect myself and give him what he wants. I don't know what to do right now. My boyfriend is insisting I should not give any information to Ibigwe. But he's threatening to deal with my boyfriend if I fail to give him what he wants. I don't know what to do. No, 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 no. I did not tell my boyfriend about the threat. You know how he behaves. He might take a drastic decision that might hurt him. I don't know what to do. I don't know. I came to check if um, <clears throat> your your fluctuating voltage. I came to see if it's still fluctuating. I'll be very happy to change the neutral cable for you, free of charge. There won't be any need for that. Our light is perfect. It's obvious you know your job. Ah, coming from you, that means a lot. Uh, thank you so much for the compliment. It's the truth. How are you? I'm fine. I'm sorry now. I, I, I'm just checking. You know, I, I called yesterday. I, I called you like, what, nine times yesterday. You did not pick. Even before I slept off, I still tried one more time. Your phone was switched off. I was busy. <clears throat> Ebel, I like you. A lot. I like you so much. Please, yeah, give me a chance now. Please look at me. See, see the way I'm shaking around you. Just, just give me a chance. I prom, I promise to show you how much I feel. Uh, I, I, I promise to show you love. Please. And I've told you time and time again, Akwan. I am 
not interested in whatever it is you want to show me. Please leave me alone. Please, 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 please. Please, I came all the way now to see you, please. Ebele, look, I have never felt this way before. I'm telling you from my heart, I have never felt this way before. I don't know why I'm feeling this way. You have occupied my entire thought process. I cannot even go a day without wanting to hear from you or see you. I'm constantly thinking of you. Sometimes I can't even eat because you're not giving me attention. I know how uncomfortable this is for you. But I've also tried on my own part to see if I can stop feeling this way, but it's not working. I guess this is one of those feelings that you cannot get rid of. And that is how you also know that it, that it is real. Please. Please. I'm giving you my word today that if you just... Just give me a chance. I promise to be your peace. I promise to, to be your strength. I, I promise to show you love like you have never experienced before. I'll make you happy. I know that you feel since you're older than me, you're also wiser. But let me tell you, it's not by age. It's how blessed you are. I am a gifted child and you're lucky to have me in your life. So don't take this golden opportunity for granted. Chizara, why can't I drink water and drop the cup for you in this house? Sister, my problem with you is that you don't use your inner sense. That man is a good guy, and he obviously likes you. What is wrong in giving him a chance? Are you listening to yourself? Are you listening to yourself? What do you know? Sister, I know a lot. My gifted sense is telling me that you should give that man a chance. He is a good man. Use your brain for once and reason with me. She's a you have common sense. Yes. Gifted one. Gifted sense. Yes. Why haven't you used it? Eh? Why haven't you used it to make us a millionaire family? It's only my matter you know how to use your gifted sense. Get out of this place before I slap you. You can never. Just I'll give him a chance now. So what are you going to do right now? Honestly, I'm confused. I don't know why Ebigwe has refused to hear me out, let alone helping me. I must do something about it. But don't you think it's ridiculous for you to ask someone you are going down with to help you get another person you want to go down with? Are you going to judge me now? Just calm down. Calm down. Let's think of what to do. The only thing I'm sure of right now is that I will never allow a bear take what belongs to me. Never. But do you know you can actually do this on your own? As a woman, I mean, you can do this on your own without involving a big way. Like, How will I do that? You have a power. It's a, as in a different power as a human, like to do some kind of kukere things without involving that thought everywhere. How? Now she finally acknowledges me, me as the most intelligent one. So let me tell you what. Oh, sh keep it to yourself. I don't need your suggestion anymore. This is my fight and I will go about it my way. Are you sure? Are you sure you don't need my intelligence on this?
you're not going anywhere. What? I said I want to pass. Come on. Hey. Chizaram, I know you lack respect, but I'm here to see my friend the Iberi. Now, leave the way. Leave the way. Madam Blessing, my sister Iberi has no use for you. My gifted sense has revealed to me that your presence in her life is toxic. So leave my sister alone. Shut up! Are you her mouthpiece? If a bird does not want my friendship with her, she should tell me herself, not you! Now leave the road. As a sister with a gifted sense, my sister don't need to tell me before I know. Mm -hmm. yes. Do you know I can slap you now? Do you know? Leave the road. Leave the road. That will permanently give me a reason to buy you from this compound. Listen, blessing. You may convert all other compounds to your drama stage, but not this compound. Shut up. Chizaram, get out of my way. Okay. Chizaram, come on. Are you mad? How oh, I'll slap you now, you truth. What's going on here? Eberi. Eberi. It's obvious that you and your sister are getting up against me. Anyway, let me just deliver my message to you and leave this place at once. Let me see. Uh, uh, what's going on? Chizaram, what did you do? I am simply making use of my gifted sense to put things in order for my sister who obviously has refused to look beyond her nose. Um, listen, I am sorry. I do not know what Chizaram has told you, but I am very sorry. You are welcome to our house. Our house, you said? Yet you will not allow me to contribute my, my gifted sense in putting things in order. Chizaram, please, will you stop all this your gifted sense nonsense? In fact, leave. I will leave, oh, but God knows I've tried. But the children of the world will, will not listen because they don't have gifted eye to see. Chizaram! What is wrong with you? I'm sorry. I'm sorry, please. That's it. I just gathered a big way sold another land yesterday. Ah, Your Majesty, that cannot be true. I met with a big way and I warned him to stop. Yes, in fact, I ordered him to stop. And he gave me his word. He couldn't have sold another land. And I am confirming to you that he lied to you. Listen, that young man is daring me. Trust me, I am going to crush him. I will. Your Majesty, please, let me handle this. You see, no matter what happens, Ebiwe is an asset to us in this kingdom. This kingdom of Abomini. Chiagozio, what nonsense are you blabbing? What I'm saying is this, Your Majesty. If you make him go in for this, it will not be good for any of us. Please! Wait. Are you saying that we should condone a criminal simply because we feel that he's an asset in this kingdom? Is that what you're saying? No, no, Your Majesty. But please, calm down. Please, Your Majesty. Ah. Your Majesty. Please. Let me handle this. Don't worry. Don't worry. Maybe we no, don't worry. Let me handle it. Please. I see. Yes. Please. Don't do anything yet. Please. I don't understand. What are you saying? Mm. Iberi. I'm not supposed to be telling you this now. But <laughs> what are friends for? Look. Ebigwe loves you. And he wants to marry you. In fact. He's ready to do anything in this world just to have you. He obviously doesn't know when to stop. He obviously has the money. In fact, Ebiwe has the money to marry any woman he wants. All the women in this village are praying for this golden opportunity. What exactly are you saying? Are you saying that I should fall for a character like Ebiwe? A fool that knows nothing but to extort and oppress his people? A fool that steals community land and sells to other community? 
all in the name of being a youth leader? Am I mad? And am I poor? No, now. See, Ebuigwe wants me to help him to have you, but I'm here to do otherwise. I don't understand. <sighs> Ebuigwe is like an unfortunate thunder. He strikes even his creator. In fact, he has no bearing. He can strike anytime, anyway. And I wouldn't want such calamity to befall you, my friend. I'm confused. You're confused? Mm. Can you put it this way? So you understand. Every way has been pressuring me to get you. In fact, he was asking if I know anything about you. I had to lie that I don't know anything about you. So he would stop pressuring me. Hey, Barry, let me advise you. Run for your life. Run for your life, oh. If you know you have nothing to do with Ebigwe, run for your life. Mm. What exactly are you saying? I should run away from my town because of a character like Ebigwe. <laughs> what are you saying? Yes. If not for Ebigwe, run for your dear life because he can even kill you. He does not spare anybody. <laughs> and you know I'm saying the truth. Well, just in case he listens to you, tell him that he is a fool. Eh? I should do what? A berry. <laughs> a berry. <laughs> mm. <clears throat> Why does it appear as if you think I'm joking with you on this? Eh? I don't understand. No. Oh. The king is angry with you, very, very angry that even after his warnings, you still went ahead and sold another land. I'm gonna warn. He may decide to get you punished for this. You know what? Isha goes here. Go and tell the king to bring it on. What is wrong with this man? Can't he leave me alone? You see that king? He is the least of my worries right now. There is something else that is bothering me, and I will appreciate it if you can allow me to concentrate. Please. You are not in the good books of the king and you are not bothered. You are not worried at all. He is also not in my own good books. Please. Hold on. Uh, yes. Can I get an update? Yes, boss. Uh, your number one has refused to collect the gift from me. Give her the phone. Okay, boss. Ma, please. He wants to speak with you. Tell whoever it is. That if he cannot show up here and show his face, you should forget about it. Hello, boss. She has also refused to collect the bag and the phone from me. You see what? The time has come for you to prove to me that indeed you have been working with a mafia and you know everything. Talk to that girl. Convince her to collect that gift. Tell her whatever you can invent that is sounding so sweet. Hmm? Don't come back here. With those gifts and don't come back with bad news. Ma, please, if you don't collect these bags from me, I will be in big trouble. Please save my life and help a brother. I beg you. And if you don't live here right now, I will begin to scream until my neighbors come out. I will tell them you came here to steal from me. Tell that your boss that if he cannot show his face here, he should forget about it. Some of us have not received any gift from any man since we were born. And some people are here rejecting gifts. The irony in this life is difficult to bring under control. Do you know you are very stupid? For always poking your nose in things that don't concern you. See, maybe you should just help yourself. Do what she just said or tell him to show himself. You don't understand. I said leave. Please. Neighbor! You see, <clears throat> for the records, I have done what I should do as your partner in crime. But if you choose out of your own wish,
to continue undermining the warnings from the king, hey, he may decide to descend on you. And when it happens, please do not blame me. Noted, sir. <laughs> you have done your part. Noted, sir. But I just wanted to do me a favor. You see that king? Go and warn him if you can. Let him mind his business. Let him live a wee way alone. If that man fails to leave me alone, I will make this kingdom ungovernable. In fact, I am going to do something that the whole place may actually go up in flame. Everybody will be affected, I'm telling you the truth. And if I am forced to the wall and I decide to do something, you may, you, I will not even remember that you're my friend. No. What do you intend to do? Give it to no. What can you? What will you do? Even what can me? They are noob. If you are sure it was Atma who sent that gift, why reject it? But why is he sending me gifts without showing his face? I told Obera to tell him to show his face. Have you considered the father he might be scared due to how you have been treating him? Well, that means he's not man enough to face his fears. Tell me, what will I be doing with such a coward? <laughs> babe, be coming down. <laughs> Your blood feels just boy rise like this. I beg, babe, leave me now. I never said I wanted to marry a womanizer or date one. Ah. Oh. <laughs> Akman does not appear to me like a womanizer. Hey, so you are one of those people that he's still holding captive with his calm looks. And of course, he has a good job, he understands his job, so yes, he has a future. That's an edge. He will use that to catch all the women in this village. But you see me, Eberi, I will not be counted amongst them. I think you're not judging the right guy. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, sir. I don't have anything to do with you. Why are you here visiting me? Well, I, bet I finally decided to show you myself. For you to understand that it has been me all this while. I have been the one sending all those wonderful things to you. And you have been the one rejecting all of them. This is a man who is prepared to go all out, right to the end of the world, just because of you. I am that man who has been admiring you, your secret admirer for all these years now. And let me tell you something. This is a man who can do anything at all to make you happy. Is that not very romantic? Wait, excuse me. You have been the one sending gifts to me? Is there any other person in this town who is qualified to send those, or who can actually afford those expensive things I've been sending to you? Great. Thank goodness I haven't opened any of the gifts. They are all still intact. I don't understand. Why should they still be intact? Those are designer things specifically made for you. Because I see you as the only qualified babe in the whole of this hour, Enu Abomeme, who is qualified to be handling we are inexpensive and designer things and that's why they are provided for you sir please i do not understand what it is you're saying right now i want you to leave i will bring all your gifts to you intact no wonder blessing said what she said but let's tell something what did she say it's none of your business please leave I will send your gifts across to you, you as soon as possible. You cannot be saying you should send things back to me because they cannot be sent back. They are yours. Designer things made in your name. You should be asking for more, actually. And let me tell you something. If you ask for more, more will be provided. You understand that? Father, keep on a day. When you're tired, you can leave. Hey, ben. Hey, ben. Hey, ben. Sister, 
I heard the voices outside. Who are you speaking with? Please. She's around all this time. You said I should stop eavesdropping on your conversation and I should stop meddling in your affairs. I am trying to obey you now and you're obviously not helping matters. What exactly are you doing now if not meddling? How can I not meddle? When I see my big sis, my only sister, in a chit chat with a terrorist. Oh, so you were eavesdropping on my conversation again. This is not time to play big sis. You need my gifted sense and my sharp brain now. You have to run away from that Ibigwe and you must return everything he gave to you. Are you okay? Did I tell you I was planning to marry him? Do I know? You know how you girls like vanities and your Ibigwe is not just vanity. He is the exact definition of the word. Later now you say you have sense, that you're gifted. Why would you refer to him as my Egwigwe? Have I told you that I'm in a relationship with him? I just made a point and I know you understand what I mean. Hello? Wait, wait, wait a minute Gladys. I want to understand something. Are you claiming to be more intelligent than me? Chizaram, you claim to be gifted. But it's obvious you know nothing. I beg your pardon. <gasps> Why are you insulting me? Why will you say I know nothing? If you know something, Chizaram, you will allow your sister to be with Egbigwe. Do you even know the man before? Who Do you? He? Who is he? Hmm. For all I care, that so-called Egbigwe is a terrorist. What do you mean? Do you even know the meaning of the word terrorist? Gladys, your welcome has long expired. If you are in love with Ewigwe, you can go and marry him. Or as well, take your mother, take your sister, go and marry him. Chizaram, this man you're talking about can change your you're life. You're stupid. It's you and your entire generation that Ewigwe will change their, their life. Now get out of this house before I un ah, unleash my anger okay. on you. Okay, mm, suit yourself. Idiot. What is it? <laughs> Why are you looking at me like that? <laughs> Aban, eh? Does it ever occur to you that many of these people who claim they love you do not love you? Oh, Billy, what are you talking about? Nobody has claimed to love me yet. As a matter of fact, I have been the one looking for love, but I have not even managed to find one. Aban, I've told you. <laughs> you cannot find love here. You cannot find love here. You see these women? They don't know the meaning of love. Ah, uh, Obele, you know I would always disagree with you when it comes to that because I know that you're not in good terms with the women of your land. So you will always talk down on them at every given opportunity and it's not good. Is that what you think? That's what it is. That I'm talking down on them? <laughs> but it is what it is now, uh, Obele. As a matter of fact, I'd advise that you begin to develop interest in one of them because your future lies with them here. Aban, are you insulting me or what? How can you say that my future lies with women? Calm down. Eh? Calm down. <laughs> You're vibrating this way because you are yet to understand the role of a woman in a man's life. The moment you understand the role of a woman in a man's life, you stop talking down on women. Take it easy, my brother. I understand what happened. You know these people. <laughs> I know these people. <laughs> hey, Barry, you really have to make this thing easy for me. What's the problem? Egbigwe has refused to accept his gifts back. He said I should consider marrying him, that he must marry me. Is he mad? Is it by force to get married to him? Mirabel, I'm scared. I'm, I'm really scared. That guy is dangerous. He's not the only one who is dangerous. Come on, Iberi. Is this why you're looking like a living dead? He can only wish we can never force anyone to be his wife. He has gotten away with so many atrocities in this village. Hey, of all the young women in this village, why would he remember me? Why would he choose me? And I'm telling you, this should not be a topic of discussion. Egberi, Egberi can never force anybody to be his wife. Uh -uh. 
Please change the discussion. Oh. It's just simple as that. Uh, did, you, did you buy that thing I asked you to get for me? First thing first. <laughs> have you heard that Ebuigwe have been sending gifts to a berry over one month now? Mm. I heard that all the men in town has been flocking around her. In fact, she is every man's dream now. Oh, where was the baby Oko in town? Wait. Is this why you are sitting on my couch and taking my drink? So, I went all out to make you this comfortable. Only to hear how men are, are all over uh, Eberi and worshipping her. Eh? But I gave it to you how you want it. Like, I delivered it to you. How you want it? This is the only news in town, and I'm giving it to you first class. Amaka, this is VIP message. I'm delivering it to Amaka the VIP. You are very stupid. I want you to give me information that can help me destroy that Eberi. And you are here saying nonsense. See, when they be coming down, be coming down now, uh uh. We are still on the same track. It's just that you are not sharp enough. You do not sharp get to out. work with my information. Get out. Get out get of here. At least let me finish my drink. Mm. Blessing. If you don't leave my house this minute, eh, you will not like what I will do to you. Hey! Hey! Amaka, how dare you? So you want to insult me because of ordinary drink? How dare you? Wait, why are you even pinned? Let me ask you. Why are you pinned, this girl? Yes, because I told you the truth. Am I the one that made a very more beautiful and classier than you? You are very stupid. Thunder will fire you. In fact, for saying this thing, eh, you're a very big fool. <laughs> I'm idiot. So I if you don't live here this minute, eh, I will give you a very hot slap. I mean, they can't try. I said you can't house. try. I said I will leave. Go I said, leave my house. Leave my house. Go. I don't know what will give you. I said leave my house. You don't have information. You don't have information. Don't have information. Bring information for me. I will help you destroy you. Give me your information. This information that I want. Go and get it yourself. So this is why Ebiwe has refused to listen to me. After everything I have done for him, he chose that to do life over me. <laughs> Ebiwe, I can never allow you to outshine me in this village. Never. She can never take what's supposed to be mine. I will do whatever it takes to make sure of that. I forgot something in Amaka's house. Please let me go and get it. Let's postpone this meeting. I'm coming. Hey, 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 come hey, yeah. Lean on the tree. On this tree. Lean on this tree, my friend. I should lean here. Lean on this tree. Hey. Why are you killing yourself slowly? I mean, why are you provoking me? Why will I tell you something and you will not do it? Hey. If you provoke me to the point, I turn you off permanently. Hey. What is your game? Don't turn me off permanently. I've not done anything wrong now. What have I done for you to turn me off permanently? Hey. What did you tell Everett? Hey. God is my witness. 
I did not say anything bad to Eberi. I was only on your case. She was the one that was saying bad things about you all. I didn't say anything bad to Eberi. What did she say? I was even scared. I was scared. I was even shocked at her boldness. The way she was saying all manner of things about you. She was saying so many things about our almighty Ewewe. She said that you are a terrorist. That you are a, an unfortunate stone that I can even strike the, the, the creator anytime, anywhere. She said that you hey, are... Hey, shut up. What did you say when she was saying all that? Hey, I did not say anything. I thought it was a different spirit that entered her. I was confused the way she was saying some things, so many things about our almighty Ewewe. So automatically you are telling me that you are a fool. Hi. You went to that place and you played the fool without delivering my message, right? No, no. I delivered the important message. I delivered the important message. You delivered the important message? Yes, sir. Wishes? I, I told a baby that a big girl wants her to be his second wife, sir. Ah. You see what I mean? You see what I mean? You are such a useless specimen. With all this molecular structure you are carrying, must you tell her she will be a second wife? Hey, what did I do again? Hey, what offense have I committed? Why would you say second wife? Idiot! Why? Idiot! But they be way now. Everybody in this village knows that you are married. Shut up! So you cannot assume. You cannot assume that assume. Chief Big Daddy is not married. You know if you just assume. If I, if I compose you, you will slap. Come here. Come here. Sir, please. Let me, let me go and collect that thing. It will spoil all. My soup will sour. This girl need beef. My come, soup come, will sour. Come, 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 eh? come on, there. Which My, soup? Which soup? You don't know you're already sour. Soup is which burning. Soup? Wait. Which, which is burning? Hey! Why, why did you rush like in those seats? You're, you're, you're going this way. Are you a monster seat? You're going this way. This, this way. way. Oh, you're awesome. Big Daddy, just imagine. How can someone have plenty, plenty brain like that and it, it's not a function where? You don't get brain, everything is depositing somewhere else. But you know, where is imagine. The Where's the brain? Big Daddy, we, we need to look for another specimen. This specimen will kill our, our, our science. Came to visit me today. Am I safe? Oh, why are you talking like that? Uh -uh. Please sit. Uh -uh. You don't know. You are my favorite among our friends. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, Mimi, how have you been? I should be asking you that. You look refreshed and beautiful. You mind telling me what's going on in your life? Well, nothing out of the ordinary. I've just been here. <laughs> From what I'm seeing, all this glow. Please, you just look as if a strong hand, like, you know what I mean? A strong hand is holding you. So please, just tell me the truth. Sister, please, I want to show you something inside. It's very urgent. Whatever it is, I'm sure it can wait. I can't leave my friend here alone. Your friend? This one? Do you want me to slap you? Go inside and go and find something doing. Excuse us. What is the meaning of this? Wait, wait, wait. Am I the one she's talking to? No, no. I'm talking to your ancestors. Don't be angry, please, please. Just ignore my sister. Okay, fine. What are friends for? You know I can take anything because of you. Hmm? Hmm. <laughs> Tell me something. What's up? What's up? What's up? I heard that Amaka. Hey, 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 hey. Are you here to talk about Amaka? Mimi, please leave. Ah, uh -uh. what did I do wrong now? I just wanted to tell you that. I'm I like... said, please leave. My sister has something to show me. You heard her. She has to show me something important. Mimi, go now. Please. Mimi, I... yes, yes. I should... Yes, you be going. Mimi, <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Mimi, go now. She's 
Chizaram. Chizaram, come here. Chizaram. You called me. Sit. I can hear you now. You know what? The more you dismiss me as a troublemaker, the more you walk deeper and deeper into this trap. And as a sister that cares, it pains me in the heart. Oh, wait. I am not even interested in this, your sentiments nonsense right now. What's the meaning of this? But I just wanted to... You know what? I don't even want to hear it again. You can go. It's not about me talking, though. It is about me getting something registered into my inner sense. Your inner sense? This your inner sense, nonsense sense, um, uh, flip sense, whatever it is sense that you have. I do not want to listen to it right now. I am done. Sister, listen to me, oh. it will favor you. And remember I am your sister and I deserve some respect from you. Respect? Yes. Jesus Christ. No, come. Come and take the respect. Ha. This girl doesn't know how to meet anyone in this house. Just the person I wanted to see. Where are you coming from? I went to see that stupid Eberi. I can't continue to allow her play with my friend. Mimi, I don't understand. I heard from a reliable source that Eberi is planning to arrange some boys to beat you up. I had to confront her. But guess what? When I did, this girl could not deny it. She told me to my face that when she finished dealing with you, you will run away from this village. I am Maka. Run out of the village for a berry. Pa! In fact, I will teach that girl a lesson. You better attack her before she does so. Because from what I saw, what she told me, that girl is mean. She's very serious. So attack her before she does. She told me she would deal with you personally. <laughs> she should better get ready for what is coming her way. to me. In fact, I will beat you with one hand. Amaka, if you know what is good for you, leave this place now. I am not going anywhere. I am not going. In fact, I have come to warn you, to let you know that I know all your plans. If anything happens to me, eh, I will deal with you personally. Amaka, leave this place now before I eat you you know you don't know what I can do. Leave now that my mood is still normal. It's okay, Zara. I'm happy. Leave her. When she's done barking, she will leave. Hey, Bere, you are the one barking. In fact, your entire generations are adults. Eh? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yes, for planning this, for planning this, evil against me. Something, something, something. 
This that I'm hearing that you fought with Amaka in my own house. To be honest with you, Mama, it's one of those things I don't have control over. I didn't realize that Amaka had such inferiority complex, and obviously I can't help her. Point of correction, Mama. It was not sister that fought. In fact, we did not fight. I flogged Amaka until she was made to understand the meaning of seniority. Next time, if she sees us, she will run. I don't understand. Mama, Amaka came here raining curses and threatening. That was when Chizaram came and, and started fighting with her. I, I tried to separate them, but obviously Chizaram was not in a mood to be separated. Oh. No, I don't understand. You, Zaram. You squared up to Amaka. How possible is that? Mama, the problem we have with you is that you look down on us as if we cannot do anything. Your children are capable enough to handle such nuisance. Amaka is nothing. Mr. Ma, what is your problem? No, what is your problem? Why are you harassing me? Why do you think that the best way to live is to go around harassing productive businessmen and women, extorting money from them? What is your problem? Listen to me. I find out whatever thing they call you. You cannot come from wherever you are coming from and lecture me on how we are going to run our town. If you are not comfortable with what you are proposing, very simple. Leave this place and go back to your land. You lie. What? I say you lie. Eh? For the land on which I work does not belong to you. So you cannot tell me where to stand or where not to stand or where to open my shop or where not to run my business. You're disturbing me, this man. What is your problem? Hey, hey, hey. Look at me very hey, look at me very well. I am not faced by all of this thing. Hey, 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 do it. Hey, hey. You will not move me. Oh. Eh? You will not, you see, your stupidity and arrogance will not even move me one bit. Leave my place of business. You're disturbing me. And if I should disturb you, what will you do? What will I do? Look, 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 look at this. It is very clear you want to die. Right? Me. You want to die, right? Because you don't know the man you are dealing with. Listen to me, huh, partner. It is either you pay your tax or <laughs> you I will say that at this time. You want to pick me on that? I pay my tax to the government and not to touts like you. And here in Elna Bomimi, I am the government. Listen to me, huh, partner. It is either you pay or I am going to make you play with your life. Uh, you, you know see? what, Aga? Okay, my name is the Wukita. What I say? I don't understand what you're saying. But I'm going to tell you about the click. Leave, oh, don't come back here. Don't come back here. Don't come back here. Mabasi, if you come back to this shop again, Mabasi, I will, Mabasi, I will, I will I cut your leg. Come back here again. 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 What kind of nonsense is this now? Chip out. Look at the stomach. I know you don't like me, but to be honest with you, I mean well. I came back here because of the love I have for your sister. I love her so much that I can't see someone planning evil against her and allowed her evil to befall her. What exactly are you talking about? Who is planning evil against my sister? I overheard Amaka speaking to someone on the phone. She promised to pay that person 20,000 naira if the person will rape your sister and beat her up. You're not serious. Amaka is planning what? Exactly what you heard. See, I came here because of that love that I've been carrying me around. That love I have for your sister. So, better go and tell your sister. Tell her to attack Amaka before Amaka attacks her. <laughs> I know I'm close to Amaka. I know she's my friend, but I don't support Evo. So, better talk to her. Tell her to attack before the attack will come to her way. I've said my own. Thank you for the information.
Bien ici. What are you doing here? Listen, Amaka, or whatever you call yourself. I am not here to fight with you or banter words with you. But I am here to warn you to stay away from my sister. If anything happens to my sister, she will surely go down. <laughs> so she's afraid of me after all. <laughs> and she feels sending you can change anything for your information. She is not aware of my coming to see you. Of course you know my sister is too classy to subscribe to this. My friend, she's not anything close to class. She is a low life. And better tell her to get ready for me. It's like I need to refresh your memory a little. The last time was preamble compared to what I have in stock for you. If you know what is good for you, stay away from my sister. If you as much as I have, I will cripple the very essence of your existence. It is not a threat, but a statement of fact. My friend, shut up! It is your sister I have issues with and not you. You think I'm afraid of you? I'm only ignoring you because we are not mates. Of this. Mirabel, Mirabel. What is going on? We had a deal. I gave you a task and you started to avoid me. Who does that? Ebigwe, I had no deal with you. I can never have anything with you. Stay away from me. I can never help you what you are looking for. Are you aware you are playing with thunder? And that when it strikes, it is going to break you into smithereens. Are you not aware? Your mind is not telling that you are God, Abby. Everyone should be scared of you. Well, for your information, I, Mirabel, I can never be scared of you. Everywhere, bring it on. Never know. Now, am I the one you are talking to with this tune? You want me to kill you? Kill me. Everywhere, you kill me. Look, I am waiting for you to make one mistake that will affect me in any way or anyone connected to me. I promise you will not survive it. Are you mad? I mean, I, are you high? I may never be this clear again, but let it happen and you will really know who is in charge of violence in this kingdom. Rubbish. Stop me again. We are going to die. Mama Maka, as you can see me, I am not here for a friendly talk. So keep your pleasantries all to yourself. Where is your daughter, Maka? She went out. Hope there's no problem. There is plenty of it. Why should I look happy? Tell your daughter to stay away from my daughter. Tell her to leave her in. Tell her to stay away from my daughter. If anything, the least of you should touch my daughter. I will set some people at place and I will ensure they all born to death. Mamaka, Biko, Biko, wait to be one name. Calm down and talk to me. You know what? Okay, let's go. No, please. Go away. Ask your daughter why she's threatening my daughter. 
Ask her what my daughter ever did to her. Tell her to be careful. Ask her why she is arranging men to come rape my daughter. Oh. Maybe indirectly, she's not a rapist. I don't know the kind of woman that should arrange such evil for her fellow woman. How? Just warn her. Tell her to stay away from my children. Tell her to stay away from my daughter. Yeah. Yeah. How? Amaka. And when he gonna keep woman, no why you cannot kill me. You cannot kill me, you this girl. You got a boom. Just check it back. I just come back. I'm waiting for you in this house. Maybe. Oh. Me. Check it back. Jukwese, I called you here because I'm scared. First lady, how can you be scared? See, you are the wife of the president of this town. A man that everyone is scared of. Even the king is scared of your husband. See, let me tell you, the real president of this town is in your husband's pocket. <laughs> yeah, usually they look me, the real president is in your husband's pocket. So why are you scared? I am scared because uh, Akban, the electrician from Ikotayabas, he was here today. <laughs> First lady, you, you mean that Akwaibon dog? No, the, the same fool will lock the shop today. See, even as I speak with you now, eh, the key, it is your husband's pocket. I mean, it is your husband's pocket. See, be grateful we don't eat dogs. Yes! If not, you for don't use the flesh, they prepare no go soup. In fact, some of the flesh was still there fridge now, they cool. You go fish in a cow meat. <laughs> you know, say Akpan yellow like, like woman cow. <laughs> Leave that matter, don't let Akpa fear you here. Yeah? Now that one is man, a flajamu. He has already opened his shop. Don't say. As I'm speaking to you now, that shop is open. Don't say. Yes. <laughs> Who told you that? He came here today. He came to warn my husband to stop meddling his business. If not, he will kill him. Wait, Wait you, you mean that, that Akwaibon dog? Get the mind, enter this compound. Enter Big Daddy Come. First lady, why now? Why you not call? No, wait till I do this life, they leave. If not to the answer, Big Daddy Co. And as you just see me like this, so which kind of life I get? If not to the answer, Big Daddy, the Big Daddy errands. You for you for ring my phone now, first lady. Eh? I'm on a local dog now, a cookie. He never the dog never bath well. He came prepared. He came prepared. I'm scared though. He's ready to fight my husband. He's ready to challenge you with. That if he will be first to leave him and his business, that he will kill him. I don't want to lose my husband. <laughs> uh, first lady, <laughs> anyway, now woman you be sharp. I'm not gonna like to they tell you every time me and your husband they do for us. You don't understand. Woman, I just tell you small thing. You see that your husband where you marry? Nothing they fear killer. Even death, they fear your husband. Hmm? Yes. If death see a big way for these streets, death will go past ten streets after these streets. God will create all of us, they fear your husband. Hey, oh. God, they think what he go create where go in case when your husband is ready to die, they think what he go take him. So not be not be local dog like Akpan. Not be not be local dog. But you see this information where you tell him so thank you. I will pick it up from here. Wash. You go see bearer poster. You need that color dog black and white. You see the poster for the community. I don't want you to kill him for me. Just just save my husband. Isn't no. I've been mean, your husband go save you me. You know how many times your husband does save me? Yeah, relax. I go under the issue. Um. Well, I specifically selected the three of you and asked you to come here because I believe the three of you will understand how I feel about this. I think it's high time we stopped Ebuigwe from treating all of us as though we are still infants that suckles on our mother's breasts. Or am I the only one that feel like enough is enough? My? And what do you suggest we should do? Stand up to him, squarely, face him fearlessly and ensure that he stops intimidating 
maltreating and stealing from this community in the name of a youth leader. Come to think of it, guys. Think. That buffoon, that charlatan is not even a youth. So why shouldn't we stand and fight him? It's not like we don't know all the atrocities he has been committing. I mean, everyone has been committing in this land. But it's obvious that none of us can fight him. Is it me, you or you? No one can fight him. He is more powerful and richer than us. You lie. What riches? What power? What influence? I can't believe you. Who made him rich? From the money he stole from us? The money he made from selling community lands? People! Can I bust your bubbles? Are you aware that Ebuigwe, that rascal, has made over 200 million naira? What? Yes, by selling our community lands. And the king and Ederson Council has not done anything. He was practically the one who buried the President General's mother. It's obvious that that one will not do anything. Of course. He will not or may not do anything. But we can. Alright? It's high time we bypassed those old men. And faced our enemy. Ebuigwe is our enemy and we must rise up against him. We must stand up to him. We must fight and we must reclaim our land from the hands of that charlatan, that buffoon. We can sit down. Feel my spirit, people. Feel it. What do you say? Hero, hero, what's up now? Hi, David. Nelson Mandela, how far now? It'll be for you today, man. What is the meaning of this? Hey, see, listen. Since you have refused to mind your business in this town, we are going to send you to early grave today. Uh, uh, please. Youths of Enu are me. I beg you. I, I don't want problems. Just clearly me. Oh, go, 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 shut up. Where they go? See, uh, the only place where they go. Now, heaven. And that is the only place where fools like you, where don't if you say they don't go by the other they go. Hello? You know how stubborn your brother can be? I have done everything that I need to do as a wife, but he will not listen to me. You know he will not listen even if you call him. I am, I am thinking you should come back. Yes, someone has to come back and stop him before he kills himself. He believes he has boys that can die for him. But forget ten boys can, can turn back and harm him. I think something has to be done immediately. Please, please, you have to help me. Please. I warned you, but you wouldn't listen. Egg Big Way is very dangerous and not to be played with. I don't know why you don't want to listen to me. But somebody has to stand up to that fool. Somebody has to withstand him, else he would destroy everything we have as a people. I mean, come to think of it, what kind of a human being sells community lands and pockets the money? Who does that? I know someone needs to stand up to him, but not my man. 
I will not allow you to involve in this matter again. Nothing will happen to me. I will face every way man to man. I am no coward. No. That you managed to outrun his assassins today. It doesn't mean you'll succeed the next day. Leave that fool alone. The system will ultimately stop him. When the system so decides. And I am telling you, Mirabel, that we are the system and we will stop him listen everywhere i can pretend not to see all the abominations you have been committing in this village but if you as much as look at my man wrongly let alone pull the stones you pulled today i will show you the fury of a wounded woman you're very stupid go back and warn your so-called man let him learn how to mind his business he was able to escape today. Next time, I, I, he will not be this lucky. I'm telling you, he will not. So you're not even denying it. You are confirming you are the one who sent those useless idiots to kill my man. I don't understand. Have you forgotten I am still that same way where that even the men in castle dread? Who the hell are you to think that I'm going to deny anything before you? You see that your so-called man, he was able to escape today by the whiskers. The next time, he will die by the whiskers. It won't work their God. Listen, everybody. I will not warn you again. Leave my man alone. Don't pray to witness the anger of a wounded woman. You are, a, you are very stupid to say that. You have not even been wounded yet. By the time I wound you, you will feel the wound. Listen, I am still tolerating you because of a bear. Who is my bear? Who happens to be your friend? The next time you will try this, you will not even see where your corpse is deposited. Can you see I will respond to that when the response comes. Can you see the just imagine? There is system. There is something about this girl that I'm still not able to unmask. She speaks with so much confidence and she has this aura that exhibits a woman of war. But a day is coming when I'm going to arrest that her aura. I will kill that aura. And then I will kill her after. Nonsense. Mama, why would you wake me at this ungodly hour? You know sleep means a lot to me now. I've missed it. Amaka, Amaka, use your tongue and count your teeth. Mama, I can't remember doing anything bad. Mama, baby came here today. Amaka, why would you go to their house and display such show of shame in their house. Huh? Is this how I raised you? Oh my God, what has come over you? <laughs> you see, this is what I don't like. Eh? Did you ask her what her daughter did that prompted me to do what I did to her? Whatever she did. For crying out loud, Amaka, you are a woman. And no man on this earth will accept to marry any woman that walks around fighting and making trouble. Amaka, you know what I cannot want to keep. Oh? Look. This life you're living will not help you. You have to retrace it before it is too late. Mama, I did nothing wrong. It's not wrong. Please, I want to go and sleep. You want to go and sleep? Amaka. 
Listen, listen. Amar, stop doing things that will provoke me. Stop it. If you provoke me, you would not like how I will handle it. Are you listening to me? Get angry and slap me a week away. I cannot believe you chose that low life over me after all I did for you, after all we shared. Will you just shut up before I slap you for real? Look at her. Now listen to me. Ebele is the one I want to make my wife. And people like you must get into, into their heads. Stop messing things up for me. If you as little as I have, you will not like how I will handle it. You, but you will regret it. You cannot do anything to me, Ebigwe. You bastard! I cannot believe you, you, you chose that low life over me. You are an ingrate, and I will make you pay for it, Ebigwe. I will make you pay for it. Evil also? You're a bastard! You're a bastard! Yes. You're a bastard! Useless Amaka is now calling me a bastard to my face. Amaka. Okay, we shall see. I cannot believe Ebigo will do this to me after everything. Just because of, because of that fool. You have to stop agonizing over that fool. That will amount to making him relevant. And that is not what we are supposed to be doing now. Even if it means going beyond the sea, I am ready to make a big way and a brief pay. That's the spirit. You have to make them pay. But why is a berry getting so much attention from men? Something I always wanted. I have worked hard for what she's getting for free. And it spares me greatly. Now you are beginning to understand the real deal. Fools who enjoy unmerited favors should be put in their places. And the baby is the first. You have to make her pay. How dare you, Elizabeth? How dare you call anybody and start discussing my personal life? How I live my life? Why must you call anybody to discuss it? Why? The person I called is your sister. And don't blame me for trying to save my husband. Save your husband from what exactly? Why are you provoking me, Elizabeth? Why? You can read all the meanings into this. But deep inside your heart, you know the truth. These people are planning your destruction. And the best thing you need now is to make more friends, not more enemies. I, I am okay with the friends I have. I don't, need, I don't need more friends. And if anybody has decided to become my enemy, then I am the person's enemy too. It's not my business. Now listen. You see, today, you are going back to Mpo, and you are going back to Mpo today. Don't go your And leave my husband here to be killed. I am not going anywhere we will. I am not leaving this house. I don't want to be a widow. I don't want to be a widow. You don't want to be a widow? Who is feeding you with all these negative, all these nonsense narratives? Who told you there is anybody who can kill this man here? Let me tell you something. Nobody can kill this man that is sitting down here. Nobody. Nobody can kill me. Mark it somewhere. 
Mm. No problem. I need to stay back and ensure that. And do not force me to go back to all unless you'll be carrying my cups. I am not going anywhere. I'm here because I care. Even when you refuse to see it. Look, Amaka, I care about you. And I wouldn't want anything to happen to you. Blessing, please, can you say what you have? I don't have all day. Well, I had a dream. And in that dream, I saw police convoy taking you away. Yes. And one of them said, it's either they'll kill you or they sentence you to life in prison. God forbid. It is you who will be killed or your body sentenced to life in prison. See, if you don't have a job, just tell me and I will create one for you. Mm. Nonsense. Hey! The angels in heaven and all the people in heaven will bear me witness that I have delivered this message to you. Eh? And I dust my feet and live in peace. The same heavenly people will equally bear me witness that the next time you try this rubbish, you will never live here in one place. Useless gossip. Your Majesty, it had just been uploaded on our platform that Ebuigwe was arrested by the police. Were you the one who made the case against him? You pleaded with me that we should leave him. You gave me the assurance that you are going to handle the issue. Yes. So I left the case in your hands. I don't have anything to do with his arrest. If you are not the one who ordered his arrest, then who could have done that? I don't know. And in all honesty, I don't want to be engaged in this discussion. Big Daddy, sorry for the stress. But see, we need to teach that Uche boy a lesson. I mean, for using the police to arrest you, I still went ahead to put it on the general platform. Now fuck up now, it's unacceptable. Jugwe say I want you to forget about Uche. Uche is a riffraff. Shush rat. Look at Uche. You know he's one of those fools who keep believing that they will go to heaven. Every other person will go to heaven, but Uche will not go there. I will stop him myself. You know. Why I am not going to deal with him is because of the advice given to me by my friends in the police department. The same ones that released me almost immediately. They told me that I should allow the young man. That if I do anything now, it will be suspicious. I mean, people will be able to know that it has something to do with me. So we are just going to allow him to be living his life as, as if all is well. Then we are going to strike him when he has forgotten about everything. You know revenge, eh? Revenge is one meal that will taste better when served cold. Eh? It will revenge cold like this or bad marimba. What have you done? <laughs> Now because of what you talk, Shao, if not, I don't plan on Sasa, come on here so, eh? And boys boogie, you will see where they go, they carry casket, they dance around, the, and the, around this community. I mean, what you, what you do now? You reach ready to take, kill everybody around, there, even the goat and dog where they stay around the compound. Which kind of rubbish, which kind of, you not just get fear. You call police, arrest my big daddy. No, what did they try to achieve? You go put that for platform, it won't, it won't dent your image. But, uh, if you but, they see a word, what we don't get for things, what we don't say. You cannot. 
Who be who shall donate my image? My image is very long. You know, with that image. You see, eh? I have identified one land down the Gumpo. Wonderful parcel of land. That land is the only land that belongs to his family. Only land. This week, I am going to sell that land and render him landless in this town. <laughs> Big Daddy, landless. Correct. <laughs> Very soon, with the yes song like this, word is not my own. I am just. <laughs> that would be so devastating to them. <laughs> Big Daddy, this cause for celebration. I need to drink. <laughs> you, somebody will die in that family when that land is sold. Because I will sell it, and once I sold, once I sold, once I sell any land there, that land is sold. And then somebody will die. And I will still go to that family and give them one cow. <laughs> and you know the worst thing? I go go block his spirit for road. I go beat her, beat her, beat her. <laughs> Big daddy! Now you, now you, now you, now you. Just like that. You mean they released him just like that after all the evidence that were provided for them? That evidence is good enough to send him away for a long time. Mirabel, it is still too shocking for me. It's now obvious that Ebaiwe is working with some people in positions of authority. Exactly. If not, why would they let him go? <laughs> if you think this is over, then you sure underestimated me. I will come for him. I will hit him so hard when he least expects me. Trust me. Uchi, my love, my sweetheart, please leave that man alone. I can't bear it if anything happens to you. Hmm? My love, love of my life, Nothing will happen to me, okay? I love you so much. I love you too. I still don't know why you still say no to our man. I mean, that guy has done nothing but help our youth by training them in his craft for free. It is true, many women accuse him of humanizing, but I'm yet to see that. Well, that's because you don't want to see it. For every rumor, there's an atom of truth. They just can't accuse him like that. You forgot that good-looking people tend to have more enemies most times. Well, I don't care what you say. I, Ebere, will never date Akban. Why are you looking at me like that? What if he's not coming to date you? What if he's interested in making his wife? Well, you know the answer to that already. I will never marry a chronic womanizer. Please, can we change the topic? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And they are here. <laughs> the beautiful one. A better my queen, my one and only. How are you today? Leave me alone. I am not your queen and I will never be. Go back to your wife. She needs you. Ebere, why do you keep sounding this way? Even when you know that I love you, don't bother yourself about my wife. She knows about us and she knows that we are in love. She has no problem with you being a co-wife. Where is the Is she that classless? I can never be your wife. May the gods forbid. Come on, my lord. You don't have to talk that way. Listen, I want you to look at the big picture. 
Okay, look at it this way. This man standing here is going to be the next king of this kingdom. And you are the one I want to make my queen when the time comes. The one who will sit and reign with me. If you like, be the next god. I will never be your wife. Leave me alone. Ah! Can even a woozy. Even a woozy. Boss, you're behaving as if you're not bothered. I mean, why would they release him with such an overwhelming evidence against them? Ah, uh, what can we do? It goes to show the kind of um, system we have in our country, you know? And successive government is not doing anything about it. <laughs> So as it is, the, the laws are for some people and um, some other persons are comprehensively above the law. <laughs> so it is what it is. We cannot, we cannot continue like this. We can't allow things to continue like this, boss. We cannot, but you also have to be very careful not to take laws into your hands. Be careful. So you don't spoil your own case, huh? But I know for sure that um, Ebuigwe is going to fall into my trap. And I'm going to treat that man like a common criminal. Boss, you see what baffles me most is that our king is doing nothing about this. You never can tell who he's working for. Maybe the king. No. No, boss, you didn't just say that. <laughs> I'm telling you the honest truth, though. Why would you say this? Why, why would I not say this? Our king is an intelligent man. He would never <laughs> reduce himself to the level of associating with a wigwe, a criminal. No, now. All right. I've heard you now. I'm not pointing fingers at the king. I'm not saying the king or maybe not the king but the truth is um, there are questions to be asked I mean how else do you explain that that man is able to sell community land and just go scot do you know how much that imbecile has made on community lands do you have an idea for all you know he's fronting for someone oh yes and that is why nobody's saying anything look at it this way with all that he's been doing in this town, how come he has nothing to show for it? Apart from that SUV that he drives, nothing. So you see, it naturally follows that he's fronting for someone. The money is going somewhere else, not directly to him. Think about it. And also see the way he just got bailed immediately. You are connecting the dots now. I've not thought about this this way. Good. <laughs> Boss, if this is true, then we are done. We're finished. My sentiments, exactly. Oh. Give me that. Give me that cloth. Give me that cloth. Share my one. I have not given it to you. Why? Why would you give my clothes? Your mate paid your sister to shopping now. You cannot leave this over used clothes for me. Ah! Can, can, can you imagine this girl? Can, 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 can. Share that one! I get money to take care of you too. I didn't mind that the mama we do. Mama, who locked your shop and why did they lock it? Listen, you see those boys that are moving around, stealing businesses. They are my boys. And they are covered by my immunity in this town. And let me tell you something that you don't know. Any business they have seen, that business remains seed until the person who owns the business pays what he or she must pay. Listen to me. 
I am not in the mood to argue with anybody. If you feel that I don't have what it takes to issue immunity to anybody in this town where I am already in charge, then do anything stupid and then you will discover bulldozer in your compound tomorrow, leveling everything. And there is nothing you or anybody can do. Tell them to pay what they must pay. That is very simple. If they don't want to pay, then they should shut up or wait for me. Yala. Mama, please just calm down. Calm down and tell us exactly what happened. I was in the shop when some youths on everywhere's instruction barged into the shop. They say we have not been paying Levy for the past 15 years. So we owe them about 235,000 naira. What? 200 and... How is that even possible? He said your father has not been paying, so I inherited the debt. What sort of nonsense is that? Are they the ones meant to collect the levy? Yes, I asked around. They said they have been the ones collecting it. The company has not been doing that. Where do they expect us to get such amount of money from? Iberi, just calm down. There must be a way out. No. This is illegal. This is sheer wickedness and extreme intimidation. But we will find a way to deal with it. How? When? I'm afraid my mother will have a heart attack if she stays at home doing nothing. Don't worry, Uche here can help your mother. Hopefully, it won't take time. Is that not so, Uche? Uh, yes, yes. Um, actually, we are working on something, okay? It seems as though we are a conquered people. But we are not. We can never be. For how long will you continue to do this? It's your shop that was locked, not your life. And without that shop, we are finished. That shop is our only hope. We both know that was the only thing your father left for us. That is where we get our livelihood. That is where I sustain you both. Where do we go from here? Still, Mama. You can't cry all day, every day. Everything will be fine. Everything will be all right. How? When? How will everything be fine in this circumstance? I spoke with Uche. He said he'll do something. <laughs> what will Uche do? What can he do? Pay the money? There's so much a man who has been provoked can do. What we need to do is to lend him our support as much as we can.
Have you found out what the problem is? Oh, well, my king, I, I have. Um, I have... Uh, I'd like to say, Your Majesty, that it's really not in my character to to condemn another electrician's work, but uh, what I found out was, was too much. He was sounding as though everything is bad there. It is really bad, my king. As it stands right now, we'll have to change. The entire wiring system was terribly done. The truth is that what I found out was that they used very substandard cables um, to do the wiring system and it has to be changed else we run the risk of having that place going up in flames anytime soon. I gave them 4.7 million naira to buy those wires. How can they buy substandard wires for me? Great. Great, Your Majesty, that happens to be uh, <laughs> our biggest problem in this part of the world, Great. That's okay. So what do we do to, to solve this problem so that uh, there will be proper light at the new complex? Uh, what I have done is to um, disconnect the entire complex from the mains. And I also spoke with the complex manager. I told him not to allow any um, sort of power to come into the complex now until we change the entire um, wiring unit. I also told him that we cannot use generators there for now, just for safety. So that's where we are now. It's okay. I, I, I think I would want you to give me a quotation. Okay. I want that job to be done immediately. It's fine, my king. You'll hear from me soon. Beautiful Eberi, you demanded audience with me and uh, and you have been sitting here without saying anything. I told you already. You should feel very free with me because we are now working together. If there is anything you want me to do, open up and tell me and let me tell you something before you even say it. Consider it done. Yeah? Please, sir. Uh, I want you to please open up my mother's shop. I know she owes you some money, but if you open it, she can start to sell and pay you back in bits. <laughs> Please. Hey, better you know it yourself. That even if your mother should sell every single thing she has in that shop, she will still not be able to pay what she owes. Yeah. Oh, you know what? First thing tomorrow morning, I will open that shop for your mother and for you. Well, let her not pay anything. Everything waived. Are you, uh, are you serious? You will open up the shop and you don't have to pay anything? I was the one who locked it in the first place. I can always open it. Oh, thank you. And I will open it tomorrow. God bless you. Uh, but thank that you. is going to happen only on one condition. Ebere, you are going to become my wife. It is already said that I am going to emerge the next king of our inner bomb in my kingdom. You will accept to be the one who will sit with me as my queen when I become the king. Once you accept to do this, everything is okay. That's it. So, what? You heard me. And I mean every word I just said. Eh? Take, take a sip and it will give me an assurance that we are now working together. Chizaram! Does it occur to you that I am your elder? Why do you like insulting me? I'm asking you, why do you like insulting me? Wait, are you expecting an answer? Listen, listen. You're not a good friend to my sister. And I will continue to ward you off until you lay common sense. What? Small sense. Uh -uh. Oh, sister. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. How are you? What are you doing here with this um, piece of disturbance? What? A berry. So this is a conspiracy. So you conspired with your sister to insult me, a berry. 
Oh, you think I'm now jobless? No problem. You know that's not what I mean. You know you're welcome to my house anytime. This is it. So people will not just stay in their house. They will be looking for one or two places to gossip. Stay in your house, blessing. It's obvious your house is just in you. What is it? Hey! Please. Ignore her. No problem. See, Barry. I'm here because I had a dream. And in that dream, you were so happy. Look, Eberi, I will advise you exercise some patience. Ignore whatever distraction that's coming now and wait for the happy ending. Oh, you and this is your dream. Anyway, thank you. Huh? Wait, before you go, help me tell your sister that I can stay in my father's house and I am not jobless. You sound as if you don't know your brother anymore. He goes to club every night. And this time you just saw the land. He will not even come back. He has already become my husband. I have no choice. Why I will not leave him is because despite all his nonsense, he has never raised his hand on me. Yes. He said I should return to Mbo, but I refused. He just ignored me. I know a lot of men that will beat their wife because of that. I don't know what he's up to. I don't know. But whatever it is, I am ready to find out. I am not going anywhere. I want to know what my husband is hiding. You know, it has dawned on me that I don't have a choice. I have to marry him. Iberi, you will do no such thing. You cannot do that because you have a choice. Well, I don't want to see my mother cry every night. What if her blood pressure rises? I can't afford for anything to happen to her. There must be another way out. Which is? I don't know. But you don't have to marry that animal. So what's the other way? I don't know yet. I wish I can do something. I wish I can make all this go away. I can't bear to watch you marry that animal. You have to get used to it too. Because I will marry him. and watch a bear get married to a baby. We have to do something. Okay, um, babe. What do you suggest we do now? I don't know yet. I just want to help her. See, I would love to help her too, okay? But right now, like, I mean, between you and I, yeah? I don't get planned. Okay, what if you tell her about? Tell him everything. Maybe he will help. Please don't go there. Huh? Let's not involve that guy. Aban just won a contract with the king. And he, he has decided to face his business. Moving forward. People move. But he's dreaming of a future with a berry. I know he loves her. Don't you think a man can go all out if he loves a girl? Babe, why are you pushing for this? Well, that is the only thing that comes to my mind right now.
Sister, do you have a minute? Since when? You're not in a good mood. Are you not going to fill me in? She's out, please. Say what you want to say. I am not in the mood for this, your cunning ways at all. Sister, I want you to look into the big picture. You cannot end up with a character like Ebuigwe. He may be good to so many people. But not for my one and only sister. Never. Are you blind? Can you not see what is happening? Do you want Mama to continue to cry every day from morning till night? Do you want her blood pressure to increase? Even those that called the police have been asked to go to Egbigwe for help. He has held this entire village hostage. What do you want me to do? And because of that, he, he wants to make you his wife. Second wife for that matter. Second wife, sister. That will never happen. You see that mama's shop? Let it go. We cannot let manage. You don't need to let that so-called baby make you his second wife. Well, I've made up my mind. And nothing or no one can change it. That means somehow you are beginning to love him. Because I know you. You cannot settle with a man you don't love. And sister, with all the Eberi, with a man like up and dying for you, you want to end up with that character like Ebuigwe. Sister, you need to have a rethink. I am trying very hard to understand this. I mean, are you equally amongst the people I need to deal with for me to have unhindered access to my man? And who is your man? Akban. <laughs> you are living in fool's paradise and you know it. Let me tell you the truth. Akban told me that I'm the only woman he sees. So you and Eberi, you are just fooling yourselves. What? Akban is interested in you too? How is that possible? I mean, what did they see in a, in a low life like you? Huh? <laughs> Look at Amakao. You are the one who is a low life. Wait, have you forgotten you are dating a big way? A married man. What do you think Abba would do with a character like you? Eh? Leave my compound. I said, leave my, leave, leave my compound now before I say. I thank goodness. Shut up, here. shut up, shut up first. What, what are you thanking goodness for? Will you shut up? Thank which goodness that I am here. Huh? See, I, what, what did I just hear? Can someone explain? Start talking! Thank goodness you are here. Uh -huh. Please, can you explain to this thing that Akpan is a classy man and will have nothing to do with a leftover like her? Okay. And can you please tell this classless Mimi mm -hmm. that Akpan is a responsible man? Mm -hmm. And we never have anything to do with a low life like she that cannot take care of herself. Will you both shut up your stupid and dirty mouths? Enough of this nonsense. Huh? Are you not ashamed of yourselves? Beautiful maidens of Enuabo Mimi. Insulting themselves because of a man from Ikota Abase. What a disgrace. Where are your dignities? Eh? Where is the pride of Enuabo Mimi? A man who has taken his stand. Shame on both of you. See, you can invent insults and disgrace yourselves for all I care. It's none of my business. I came here to uh, uh, look for Mama. Is your mother around? Because, uh, uh, Mama? Mama? Okay. Not going What's anywhere? the meaning of this? Eh? What's the meaning of this? Sister, you're not going anywhere. I will never allow you to marry that idiot of a man. 
Will you survive with or without Mama's shop? Zara, where did you say your mother is? Eh? She, she should be doing this thing with us. She went to can do, do, do this. She went to my uncle's place. The sooner you girls allow me to go where I want to go, the better for all of us. <laughs> Besides, this is my life. I can do whatever I want to do with it. Did you tell your mother about Eberet's plan to be a second wife to a tout? She begged me not to say anything about it for now. She will do it herself. <laughs> Eberet, Eberet, Eberet. I don't know what has gotten over you. I, but I promise you, you will regret it if you do it. Bet me. Sister, you don't have to do this. I mean, we can start hawking to support Mama. Sister, Eberi, Eberi, you regret this thing. Bet me, you regret it. Ah, Eberi. Okay. <laughs> beautiful Ebere, the number one, the sweet woman. Beautiful Ebere Shuku, the highest of them all. I know you will change your mind. Smart, intelligent girl. Please, come and sit down here. My number one, Edigorich and now. Can you hear me? I'm fine, sir. Yeah, it's about money. Not in... You want to get married to a berry, right? Yes, my love. And let me tell you something. I'm not planning to marry you and make you a regular wife like all these regular wives people are marrying in this land. No. I want to make you the envy of all the women in this land. It is already sealed that I'm going to be the next king of our neighbor my kingdom. I am going to make you the next queen of this land, and you are going to be above everybody. Now, nah, Kuboli, <laughs> that is who you are. That is where you belong. Hey, big way. Yeah, my love, my love. Not only are you married, you are also a tout. You steal from people with the backing of the authorities. You not only steal people's happiness, you steal their joy. You are a terrorist. What? And you think that I, Eberechiko, the daughter of Eziafa Kego Mwokoye, will marry you? You lie. Go back into your dreams and tell those who told you in your dream that you can be king, that they have lied. You can never be king in any abominable kingdom. Can you make a little movie? Can you make a little movie? Sister, do you know you're just a very definition of a complex character. Well, I've learned never to say everything on my mind. I'm quite surprised that with all your gifted senses, special senses, and all the senses that you have, you didn't see that I would never be caught dead with a character like Emigwe. Come on, sister. You don't have to blame me. The seriousness you showed when you said it was just very convincing. Imagine that idiot in his wildest dream Believing he will be my brother in law. God forbid. Saran, please, enough. Enough. Let's discuss something important. Eberi, 
I'm very glad you made the right choice. But there is something we need to revisit. Mm. Yes. And what's that? Why not say yes to Abba now that things are like this? Maybe he can help. Wait, so this is your smart plan. This is what she could come up with. Yes. I am not comfortable with what I heard about the election. Why did you interfere? Because there will be no election. It's as simple as that. Why are you looking confused? Maybe. Why would you even say something like that? See, what you are saying is capable of collapsing our entire democratic structure in our, in our moment. Is that not better? Of course, that is better. Democracy is not our thing. It just... It got imposed on us. And the more we try to practice it, the more it dawns on us that it is actually destroying the deep-rooted administrative structure of our new apartment. Therefore, we should destroy the democracy and go back to what works in our system. Listen, the original constitution uh -huh. said the, the youth leader must be elected every two years. You came in and single-handedly changed it to six years. Now, after your tenure, you don't want to organize elections. Why? I don't understand. Am I a madman? How can I organize the election when I know they will vote me out? It's not going to be possible. Listen to me. The election has been put on hold by me. I will stay in office until the end of the next eight years. Wait. You intend to stay there for 20 years? Yes, that's what it means. And do you have a problem with that? Of course! I will stay there for 20 years, and after 20 years, I will then organize the election and hand over to anybody who is available. By that time, I am done. Hey, big boy. Please, 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 don't ever say this outside. The people may vote against you, please. And who are the people that will vote against me? Let them try it now. Listen, I am already a god in this Awenu Abomeme. And whatsoever I decide the stands, if you are the person that would vote against me, put that in there. You can say blue Bible, no, no, okay. Go on again. You can say blue Bible, no. We're not going to get out. Hey, we're not. Say whatever you want and get out of this place. I know you think. I don't have anything good to say to you. You think I'm with Amaka and I hate you. But to be honest, that's not true. Say whatever it is that brought you here and leave. Well, I'm here to apologize for lying to you and for ganging up against you. It was all Amaka's doing. She convinced me to lie to you so she could get whatever she wanted. Please, I was a fool to have allowed her to fool me. Please, forgive me. You know I chased you out the last time you came here. Because I don't want anybody gossiping about Amaka to me. I hope that's not what you have come to do again. No, I'm not here to talk about Amaka. I'm here to tell you the truth about Akwan. <laughs> There's no need for that. I already know Akwan is a womanizer. That's not true. In fact, Akwan never bought any gifts for me. And he never asked me out or any of the women that claimed Akman was asking them out. That was all lies. You are confusing me. Can I at least come in? Thank you. When Akban came into this land, all the women were lost in after him, including Amaka and I. We did everything possible to gain his attention. 
including calling him to fix some minor electrical faults. But all our efforts were in vain because he never noticed us the way we wanted. <laughs> Shizara, you and I both know that you're not looking for anything. Please go inside. This is not a good time. It's okay. If you don't mind, Chizam can stay. Chizam and I are now friends and there is nothing wrong if she can be listening to everything I have to say. Thank you, Mimi. <laughs> it's okay. We did all we could, but that one only saw us as clients. Some of us started making passes at him. Some started declaring their interest to be his girlfriend. But he turned all of us down. We became angry and vowed to tarnish his image so that no woman in this land will ever agree to date him. I said it. I knew it that my gifted sense will never disappoint me. So wait. You mean he never asked the girls out? He never did, for once. Wait, oh, Mimi, what about that so-called Amaka? <laughs> that one, her own is the worst. Do you know that Amaka goes about the village, telling everyone that cares to know that she's in a relationship with Akman? She even goes about spoiling her light every week so that Akman will come to her house and fix it. <laughs> I knew it. Women. We just they do ourselves. I am personally thinking that this is not the best way to handle this. I have lost a good man. I can't believe this. A man who loved me, who cared for me genuinely. This is sad. This is so sad. Sister, I believe it's not too late yet. He still loves you. I am sure you don't need to beat yourself up about this. It's not your fault. It is my fault. It is my fault for I should have gone out to find out the truth for myself. There is no need for this right now. We should be talking of a way to win him back. Do you think he will ever want me back? We just have to try first. Why are you defending him? I am your sister from the same town. You should be defending me and not a stranger. Biamaka, you call him a stranger, yet you are dying for him. See, I do not want to have these conversations ever again with you because I'm ashamed. Ashamed of what? Ashamed that maidens of my beloved Enua Bomi me are falling head over heels in love with a man who has made his stance known. How do you mean he has made his stance known? I am the one he loves and you know it yourself. Hmm? Did he tell you this himself? How can he tell me? When the useless maidens in this town cannot allow him to do the right thing. See, I saw him walking somewhere and I seized the opportunity to Come meet you so that you can help me as a brother. Okay. Uh, it's okay. Huh? Uh, are the girls say so? Are you in a hurry? Um, no. Why do you ask? Sit down and wait for him. He will soon be back. Perhaps you might just be lucky today. I know. Hi. I like the sound of that. What and what do you want me to do when he comes in?
Blah, yo, yo. Hey, beautiful blah, blah. The Snow White of our community. <laughs> Do not disappoint me. Do not disappoint me by telling me that you're also dying for Akman. Mm -mm. Hey. Why should I die for a stranger? Mm -hmm. Big Okwa. You know the class I operate. Hey. Agonwai. Agonwai. The ego. See, eh? Blah, blah. This is the best thing I have heard in this community today. If only that a low life amaka would develop this same level of class, respect, discipline, and self control. A new album would be wonderful. Uche. Hmm? Uche. Must you mention amaka in this discussion? Must you? I am disappointed in Amaka. Huh? Hmm. Do you know Bigwe? That charlatan. That married man mm -hmm. takes Amaka in her father's house. Enuabo mi mi nemo. Huh? Are you serious about this? I think I when I'm mad. I am serious. Hey. And that useless Amaka still had the guts to give herself to happen today, today, today. Eh? Is it I don't know. Hey! Hey! Did you see that Amaka gave herself to happen? I don't understand. Please explain. What do you mean by that? It was a blessing. I am a man that is interested in knowing what happens in our land. Do you mean to say that Ebuigwe is digging it out and in with Amaka? <laughs> no, tell me, tell me hey, something. Hey, Uche. Hmm? I am more interested in what you just said now. You said she gave herself to Aban, right? Mm -hmm. Now, I want to know, did she give herself to Aban in his house or in his shop? Do you think this is a good idea? Don't tell me you're beginning to change your mind again. But what's the difference between those women throwing themselves at him and me? You're just trying to give him a chance for him to show you how he feels about you. I don't think there's anything wrong with that. And what if he rejects me like I did to him? You keep trying. Yes, you keep trying like he did. At least you need to feel a bit of what he felt when you were rejecting him. Can you please stop rubbing this in? Mama, hey. Mama, listen, this is the wrong time. My sister is going somewhere important and she don't need any delay. Hmm. Um, she's around. You're not my mouthpiece. Look. Blessing. You're welcome. Hm. Look, eh? I'm not here to disturb anybody. I am simply angry. Please, let me vent my anger in peace. Mm -mm. Chalo. So you did not vent your anger along the road as you are coming? Why must it be in this compound? <laughs> Look, I will just ignore you. A berry. If I tell you that I'm happy with you, eh? I am lying. How would you reject Aban? Hey! Aban of all people. Every woman's dream, a berry. How would you reject Aban? Eh? Well, let's just say we all make mistakes. I made mine and I'm on my way to go correct it. Yes. In fact, that is where she is going to. And she does not need any form of delay. And as you are here now, you're delaying. Shut her. up! I don't understand. I'm on my way to Akpan's workshop to um, to see if he still has a space for me. <laughs> you are going to Akpan's shop, my dear. 
The meeting is too late now. Guess who I saw with Aban? I saw Aban and Amaka in a compromised position. They are obviously dating. You can see how Amaka was all over him, smooching and touching him. Ne, it's too late for you. In fact, I was I was crying. I felt bad. Listen, you're not serious about it, right? What do you want me to do? Just speak to our one. I know that he still loves a berry. How do you know? <laughs> oh God. This is my problem with women, right? All of you. Not one less. All of you are gullible. I mean, not knowing where to take a stand or when. Don't insult my gender. Just because I'm asking a favor from you. <laughs> okay, all right, I'm sorry. But on a more serious note, babe, based on what I know here, eh, I don't think Aban would want to go back on that lane again. Mm. Speak with him first. You never can tell. Yes, ma'am. Now, what is it now? Why are you looking at what, what, what else do you want me to do? Listen, I have done everything that I know in the book, okay? But you were there. Are you going to tell me that I have not tried the best that I can to show Ebelek that I want her to be in my life, that I love her? Did I not do my best? But clearly her mind is somewhere else, so let her go. Let me be. Must be coming down. Huh? Women will be women. You know, women and their chakra now. Ah, please, I cannot keep waiting now. Shakara for how long? I can't keep waiting. I have to move on. I can't keep waiting. You want somebody and the person does not want to love you back? What do you want me to do? Boss, are you serious with the moving on? I don't understand. What, you think I'm joking, eh? I'm serious. Very serious. Settle for anything less. I'm working at you. I'm going anywhere you do. People they fear, even the waters they drive for your sake. People in pain, eyes filled with tears. I'm working at you. I'm going one day. The water for ground will cry. One day, the sun will shine. Everything a matter of time. Nothing may last. Settle for anything less. I'm working at you. I'm going. Anywhere you do, people they fear. Even the waters they drive for your sake. People in pain, eyes filled with tears. I'm working at you. I'm going. One day the water for ground will dry. One day the sun will shine. Everything a matter of time. My beautiful queen. Sweet girl. Hey, baby, what are you doing here? You know, 
I was very angry the way you spoke to me the other day. <laughs> and that's why I decided to leave you. But then again, I realized that you were not with your right frame of mind when you spoke. You know, I realized maybe you didn't wake up from the right side of the bed. And therefore, I decided to forgive you. Leave my house. I said, leave my house. Ebere, I came bearing gifts. Very expensive gifts. And I... They are for you. These gifts are to make you understand that I, I have not just forgiven you by mere words of mouth. I am backing it with gifts. So you will take it and realize that I have forgiven you completely. So you may take these things. Understand that all those things you said, they are gone. I will no longer use them against you. To hell with you and your gifts. Leave my house and leave me alone, Egbigwe. In fact, you may be Egbigwe to those who regard you as your thunder. But to me, I don't see you. Stop this nonsense. Stop this nonsense because the next time I'll be forced to lose it and give it to you in return. Come on, I guess. Look at this girl. You will give it to me in return. Look at this girl. Well, it is only the one I love that will speak to me in this manner and still live to see tomorrow. I need an answer. I need a yes or no answer. My sister does not know that I am here. If she finds out, she will kill me. But I needed to do this. You needed to do what? Do you still love my sister? I don't understand. What exactly don't you understand? Love or sister? I don't understand why you have asked me that question. Um, I need a straight answer. You are an intelligent man, and I am sure you understand what I mean. Atman, do you still love my sister? I told you not to go there. But you insisted your stupid gifted sense asked you to. But I had to, at least now we've known the truth. Now he's feeling all important, like I'm one of those women chasing him. Please just, just leave me alone, I don't want to think of any of that now. How can you think of anything? Do you even have sense at all? Not to talk of a gifted one. Bless, are you going to claim you don't know that the police department in Awainua bombed me? They still have data of the very person your brother killed. They have it. But I covered up that case, took your brother on bail, sent him to Mpo, because I wouldn't want any young man of this land to be killed or, or, or to be jailed. Are you not aware that is what I did? Sir, so, I'm so aware. But my family and I have been grateful to you. Remember, it was the work you sent him that led to that. Will you just shut up? The rest of the guy is to go and kill anybody. I sent him to go and collect my money. Money he would have collected had even he played the game how the game should be played. But he decided to go and show himself. And he killed the young man. Did I ask him to kill the young man? It was an accident. He didn't do it on purpose. Eh. Okay, so would you want us to open the case and allow the court to decide if it's on purpose or not? No, sir. Sir, please. I don't want anything to happen to my brother. Anything you want, I will do it. Please, sir. <laughs> Good. Uh -huh. It simply means I am going to give specific instruction to my men in Mpon. 
but where I sent your brother, where I got him established and where he is doing well. I will ask my boys to locate him and waste him. And when I waste anybody, that person is completely wasted. Hey, please, sir. Don't waste my brother. Anything you want me to do, I will do it. Just tell me I will do it. Please don't waste him. What I know now is God will send you your own man someday. I'm trying very hard to believe that. I mean, how can I be so stupid? How can one believe everything she was told hook, line and sinker without trying to find out the truth? That is very silly. I agree. But you don't need to kill yourself. Another better man will come for you. For goodness sake, Aban is just a man of Ikoto Abasi. He should not cause you sleepless nights. You've made your point. Please don't overflog it. that you have something to say to me. I want to hear it. Who told you that? I am the one. I have a small confession. Atman wanted to follow me home when I went to his shop. He couldn't wait to see you when I told him that you like him and ready to be with him. But I told him we couldn't make it that easy for you. I'm sorry for playing with your emotion. So, you wait for me. What if we're waiting? See how beautiful you look. Like this? You have made me so happy. You don't even know. Now I feel like a complete man because you have said yes. I am going to show you love like you have never experienced. Come on now, smile if you want to smile. Yeah? Come here. <laughs> Thank you, baby. Thank you so much. So, what do you have for me? She is in a relationship with Aban, and she seems to love him a lot. Which Aban? The electrician from Ikota Abbas. It's a lie. Wait, wait. Are you telling me the truth? I don't believe that. Aban! That dog from Ekota Ekotabas feels he can come into this land and have a woman? Who is giving him the impetus? I mean the morale. Where is he coming from? Are you telling me the truth? Yes, sir. Why? Why didn't you tell me? Why now? Huh? Why? She've at least said something. So if Uche did not tell me, I wouldn't know that my woman is having some troubles in this town. No, now, come on. I didn't want to bother you. I'm sorry. Bother me? What are you talking about, darling? You're my woman. So your trouble becomes mine automatically. It is fine. Huh? Now I know about this, so I'm going to take charge and I'll do what I'm supposed to do. Stop worrying yourself about it. Huh? It be weighs a small meat. I'll handle it.
What do you want? Listen. Adam, I told you to leave this town. Leave this town and go back to where you came from. Because it is so obvious you are here to cause trouble. What did you do? You refused to listen to that very simple instruction. Then you developed the audacity to go for my woman. Are you out of your mind? Your woman. Uh, everybody. A man who puts his hands in the mouth of a snake knows that that snake will bite. And then. Uh, You're asking for trouble. Who is the snake? You? You are the snake? It is very clear to me, everybody, that no one took such sense into your head. Everybody, enough is enough. Enough is enough. I have built a very strong network against you in this town. You are terrorizing people and people are tired of you. Try me one more time, baby boy, and I assure you that I will run you out of your own town. You are very stupid to say that. Now, who the hell do you think you are? Okay, you now feel you have some friends that you have made in my town. For you to believe you can run me out of my town, I can send that to my face. How dare you? Ah, uh, you think I cannot do it? Try. No, baby boy, try me and see. Huh? I see that it has not dawned on you yet that the people are tired of you. Everywhere you have now become a nuisance what? in this town. Try me! For when I finally rise against you, even men from your family will be the ones to show me where you're hiding. You are a fool. a fool! You are a fool to say that! Now listen, let me put it to you straight. You see that woman? That is very... She is my woman. She is actually the one that have already decided to make my queen. When I become the king of this planet, stay away from that woman before you will see the beast of me. Uh, you call yourself a beast. <laughs> Everywhere, when a drunken fowl has not met the madness of a fox, begins to feel like a god, <laughs> gloating around until it realizes that its drunkenness is a joke compared the madness of a fox. You have beaten more than you can chew in this town. And we are not going to run away from you. My town? Neither are we going to leave this town for you. It is not possible. Everywhere, you call yourself a beast. Let that beast manifest and I assure you that I'm going to kill you and share your meat to the people. You're asking for trouble. You're making noise in my place of business. Get out of this place and go back to your wife. Who, by the way, is the reason we are still taking your nonsense and tolerating you because she's such a glorious woman. Who keeps going around to clear your mess? But for how long? Hey. For how long, Gabi? Hey. That way. As you can see, I'm okay. Huh? What did he do to you? Nothing. Stop now. I'm, I'm fine. I mean, look, look at me. I'm okay. Right? Relax. Now. I'm okay. He's just a noisemaker. What can he possibly do to me? Egbigo is very dangerous. He's a dangerous man. Egbigo carries a gun in his car. And the police are not doing anything about it. They can't even do anything about it. You have to be careful. Please. I'm careful. There's nothing he can do. However, he says something. When he went, oh, sweetheart, I'm okay. I'm okay, I'm okay. That's not what my problem is right now. When he came here, he said something that worries me. He said that he's planning to become king. And that when he becomes king, you're going to be his, his, his queen. That, that nonsense he says all the time. Leave him as a fool. Who will be his queen? How? I know it sounds stupid, but I, I just need... To, he said it with so much confidence. Now you, you believe I'm going to be his queen? No, I did not, I did not believe him. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Sorry now, I'm sorry. My own is just be careful. I'm fine. Huh? Listen, that man is just a riffraff. And people here are getting tired of him. I'm 
very soon he'll be dealt with. I'm fine now, I'm fine. I'm fine, I'm fine. That's fine, I'm right here. That's fine, I'm fine. You're here now. How are you? I'm fine, how's your work? Now listen to me, Chuku Jehu. You need to understand that this is not just my war. It's not just my war, it's our war. Oh, now because you live in Lagos and you feel like you've arrived, Abi? Uh-huh. Tower leave that thing. I am not afraid of Ewigwe. He's a tout. He's a criminal, a buffoon, he's a charlatan. Do you know that he has refused to conduct election? That idiot refused to conduct election. And the only man that is now helping the youths of our land, teaching them his line of work, is the one he wants to run off town. It will never happen. I have this feeling, I have this belief that Ebuigwe must be stopped and we will stop him. Uh-huh. Yes, now, Aban, one, one man from Ikota, Ikota Abasi, the electrician. See, listen, listen, listen. Listen, you could, listen when I talk to you, Mr. Man. My point is this. Aban needs our protection, especially from those of you, those of you out there. We must protect him. He is doing what you people could not do, and that is why this is our war. We will stand up to Ebuigwe face to face, and I need your support. That's why I'm calling you. Uh huh. Hey, baby. So this is what all this is about. You want to marry another woman into this house? After everything you have been through. Hey, baby. Oh. So this is why you've been insisting I return back to Abba. Hey, baby, you are very heartless. And someone must show you this level of wickedness. Elizabeth, why are you making a case out of nothing? I don't understand. Do you lack anything? You don't. You have a supermarket in Empor that I established for you. A thriving supermarket. Even now that you are here in a in a bomb, looking for my trouble, that supermarket is still functioning because of the structure I set around it. Do you lack like anything? Why are you vibrating? What, what is this now? Ebiwe, I am looking for your trouble. What have I done to you? Where have I gone wrong that you are dreaming of another woman? Uh, uh, listen, listen, you have not done anything wrong. And I'm not planning to divorce you. You are still my wife. And you will remain my wife. I'm not tired of you. You will remain my wife. I am not, unless you are tired of me yourself. Listen, Elizabeth, I decided to marry a second wife because it is my right. As only born in Olivier. What? Seriously? It is your right to insult me, your wife? Can you have this insult, Nia? Can you have this insult? It's okay. You want another wife? No problem. Not my own. You are still my wife. Can you manage this? Can you manage this? Why can't people mind their business? Who is this fool that will just go and reveal this secret to my wife now? Eh? You don't want to go in your poison. And where is my beautiful Elizabeth going with a bag? Elizabeth, I asked the question. Where are you going with a bag? And what will I be doing here? I am finally going back to work to mind my business so you can have all the time to live your life the way you want to. Please, Elizabeth, you really need to calm down. There is no way I will allow you to live with this bottled animosity. It is going to be very unfair for you to go back to Mpo and feed my children with lies. I have not sent you out. I still love you. Listen, I decided to marry a second wife because 
I need to be married to a woman from this, our kingdom. For me to stand the chance to become the king of this land someday. I cannot be a king when I am married to a woman from outside. That is it. Why can't you understand it? But you are not yet a king. But I am going to be. Everything is already settled. That this man here is going to be the next king of this kingdom. And you will still remain the first wife of the king. You see, Ebere, Ebere is going to be a ceremonial queen. She is just somebody I want to marry for me to stand a chance to assess the throne. Once I become the king, she is going to be dusted. You are the man. You just look at it. Ebere is standing and Elizabeth is standing. Even the blind man we see that Elizabeth is demented. Look at you. Come on. Come on. Why will you be thinking of doing this? Beautiful one. Come on, stop this. I don't have time for this, please. Hey, but I have time for you. Don't allow anything to deceive you. Take this bag inside. I'm going to finish you this night. I'm going to finish you this night. Gonna finish. Please stop. I am not going to stop anything. Why would you even pack your bag here? Yeah, let me come and stop. stop. Take your bag inside. Take your bag inside now. Listen, guys, there is um, an assignment I need you to carry out. You see that guy, Aban, who came from me, a Ekotapas, to establish in this our land. He has been making a lot of money from us. And that idiot has refused to pay what he is supposed to pay to us. He has gone ahead to place signposts with his phone number. At all the strategic junctions in Enua Bonimi, directing people to him for their electrical works. And from what I gather, he is so good in what he does. You see all those signposts? I want all of them removed immediately. So what are you suggesting? Sinoma, they suggest say me will go in house for night. Put in house for a blaze. Make sure say in bonny side. No. That will not fly. Why now? The question why now? Now me they come up for this side. I go do I go run I'm not in house. Shut, shut, shut up your mouth. Because I bring you here, me will try to upgrade your identity. Big daddy, we are talking about a womanizer. Somebody will not if he sleep without woman. Look. I can bet you the day you want to set him at least, he will born with a daughter of a bomb with me. Or even daughters. Uh huh. Not what you won't be that now. Listen, if there is any daughter of this land who has decided to open herself for that idiot's enjoyment in our land here, yeah, then that daughter should be set at least for real. So don't even agree with me on this. I'm telling you. Big Daddy, I will drop. Uh huh. I'm straight up. Big Daddy. But, well, that is not what I want. Uh huh. I don't want anybody to die, even when those idiots deserve to die for opening themselves to an idiot from Mokotamas. I just want him to leave this land. The same way he came, I want us to set, set a machinery in motion that will force him to run away from this town. You see, all those people who are praising him, telling him that he's so good, making him to... I want all of them to be ashamed by the day he will leave. That's what I want us to do. Create the scenario and let it start working. Big Daddy, just leave this one out for me. I will package this one. You know the rainy season, the current season, they go now. So you go take come up for this time. Just leave that one for me. Alpha, move ahead. Anything you call me. Don't call me Big Daddy. Your Majesty, to be honest with you, I heard the rumor. But it's still a rumor. A mere rumor. <laughs> There is no way a big way will be making plans to become king when you are still alive. It's not possible. It's your gossip. Are you trying to say that my informant is a liar? Or are you saying that I don't know what I am saying? Your Majesty, I never said anything like that. What I'm saying is that I will urge you to overlook this. Let us give a big way that benefit of the doubt. That young man might be innocent. But he has already spoken to some people about his ambition. 
And that is why he is already looking for a second wife in this land. Because he feels that the men in council will not allow him to become king if he does not have a wife from Inua Bomi. Your Majesty, these might just be statements made over bottles of beer. Yes, we all know a big way. And we know the kind of things that motivate him. And let us give him that benefit of the doubt. Yeah? Your Majesty. Put that one aside, please. It's not, uh, it's not, uh, no. You are lucky I told him that you cannot say something like that. Better be careful from now on. Be very, very careful. I don't understand what is going on. Does he think that he's going to be king forever? Listen, that may happen somewhere else. It cannot happen in this land where I live. A man should be able to be king for some time and then he should step out for some other person to continue. And that's what is going to happen here. I am not afraid of that king. Go ahead and tell him what I said. I'm not afraid of him. Let him do his worst. Maybe he will. Better be careful with the king. Don't forget he has the staff of the kings with him. And with that, he can banish you from this land. And you must leave. Otherwise, the gods will kill you for disobeying this time. Well, let me bust the bubble. Is he a god here? I do not believe in the gods. And I have no regards for your so-called ancestors. <laughs> you see this man sitting here with you? This man sitting here is a man unto himself. That man should do what I have just said. If that king should insult himself by doing what he just said, banish himself and not me, I swear, I am going to wipe out his entire family from the face of the earth. Anyway, I still maintain what I say. But I be very, very careful what you say when you so much. Please. You know, you know, most times when you speak like this, I begin to wonder. Why must I pay you the kind of money I pay you every month when it is so clear you are not doing anything for me? Eh? Me? What do you mean, Alolomo? Let me tell you. What you pay me is nothing, absolutely nothing compared to the type of job I do for you. What nonsense job do you do for me? If you doubt me, I will withdraw my services and I assure you, you end up in jail. Eh, eh. You know, there's huh? only, you see, I here. There is only one reason I am still. Allowing you to be a living man in the land of the living. Don't provoke me. Because if you provoke me, I will not just turn you off. I'm a poor me. Come on, come on, balloon. I'm a poor balloon. You need me, I will see you. Be very careful. Be very careful. I'm a poor man. I'm a poor man. I'm a poor man. By the time you fail to tell the king what I just said, I paid three million naira into your account this morning. Yes, my king, uh, which is why I'm here. I noticed that you transferred three million naira to me. But I also remember that the balance uh, for the work that I did for you is 900,000. Yes. So I'm wondering what the other 2.1 million is for. Well, it is for the same uh, wind electricity that you claim that you you can mount I remember to automatically bring security light in the in the main facility once yes. there is no Nepal light. You said it is for two million naira, but I give you extra one hundred thousand naira to make you happy. <sighs> <laughs> thank you so much, my king. Thank you. Welcome. Thank you for and um, thank you so much for the confidence that you have in me and my work. I That's promise okay. Not to disappoint you. It's okay. You're welcome. I have to go. Uh, it's okay. More work to be done. It's okay. Yeah. The great Yuruko of my land. Oye is the name of I greet you, sir. I I heard you want to be the king of this land. I don't understand. Rumors are everywhere. That you're making everything possible to become the king of this land. You might just I don't understand what you are saying. That I, I want to be king. How is that possible? When there is a king already in my land, they thought they know this is like an abomination. Really? 
Yes. So you mean you are denying your plans of becoming a king in this land while I am still here? Is that what you're saying now? Your Majesty, I don't know where I have gone wrong. I don't know what I did to people. Why would they level this kind of validation against me that I want to be king? The truth is that I never dreamt to be king. I don't want to be king, Your Majesty. Because I understand what being king, what it entails. A lot of restrictions. You don't eat this, you don't eat that, you don't go there, you know, all those. I don't want to live that kind of life. I want to be a free man who does whatever thing he likes. That's just the truth. So I, I don't understand. I'm going to descend on that man with federal might. I've told him several times, he thinks I'm joking. I'm going to run him out of this town. What if he has connection in Abuja, like he hmm. does here? Ebuigwe is a local champion. His criminal politics does not exceed this town. He does not have the balls to take it out of this town. He's a coward. Okay. I'll just let you deal with him then. You know, once in a while, criminal elements like Ewiwe will arise in different towns and naturally people would just sit back and do nothing. And then they tend to succeed because they are ignored. But ultimately, they get crushed. And when that happens, it leaves a sour taste. And that will be the case here. For Ewiwe's time is up. His time is up. You have been restless since you came back from the King's Palace. I hope all is well. That man is a fool. You won't believe that he threatened me. Mm -hmm. The thunder of Enu me. That man had the cause to threaten me in this kingdom. But I'm going to teach you a lesson. Don't worry. I know exactly what I'm going to do. Truth be told, you cannot blame the poor king. How do you mean? He must have heard what you're planning. Naturally, he feels threatened. If you're in his position, you will do the same. He's a fool. He's a fool to be fully threatened. How can a human being become king and they rule and they die on the throne? It's not possible. It may happen in every other place. It cannot happen here in Enu Abomeme. You will rule for some time. And then you will get out for some other person to continue. You see, the truth that is already established, eh? you see that man? Whatever thing he is planning is nonsense. I'm going to dethrone him. And I'm going to become the next king of this country. His threat is nothing. So you just calm down. I'm not even thinking about it. I'm just not restless okay. because of him. There's a business that I am trying to 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 cool that is not linking. And um, that is actually what is giving me the the restless moment. Not the king. King is a giraffe. It's a giraffe. If you are calculating any business, remember that. Your Majesty, you promised me. I'm still on it. You should not have arrested him. I did that because I am fed up with your excuses. That young man has become a thorn in our flesh. He has become a nuisance in this kingdom. And so I have decided to handle him my own way. Yes. 
Uh, Your Majesty, I, I, I don't understand what you mean by my excuses. You think I do not know that you are on a sparrow? You really think so? You are a disgrace to this kingdom. And for your information, this will be the very last time that you will ever come close to me. And I mean every word that I have said. Oh, yes. What? what, what, what uh, the election into the youth council. That you could neither with that young man to remain in office, to sabotage me, will hold on Saturday. Yes. A new youth executive will emerge on Saturday. And you know what? I trusted you. You blew it. And never again would you ever come close to me because you have overstayed your welcome. Where is it? You can leave. Your Majesty. Allah kupulo tele. This is the best news I have ever heard. Obviously. You know, we're just tired. We're tired. We're tired of it. We're... Apparently, Igwe was planning the same thing I was planning for him. I'm happy that the authorities have decided to you know, stand up to this man. Can't keep covering him for one man. Really, enough is enough. So that so-called almighty Igwe is finally in chain. Oh yes, and he'll be charged to court and remanded in prison for his nonsense. Really. Akban, please, I need you to do me a favor. Speak, baby. What is it? What do you want? I want to go in there. Mm -hmm. and prepare a very nice delicacy for us to celebrate with. Please promise me you'll wait. Uh, as a matter of fact, the truth is, eh, I I have nothing slated for today. So now, now we're here. I'm waiting. Help me. <laughs> Just make it spicy, eh? Like pepper. Hey. The question, why you call us here now? As soon as I see me so, my interest is the gay dick. And any time my interest is not the gay dick like this, and then they like dick that has own put. As soon as I know say big daddy go on Vatican leave, police just excuse and come up for this community. So I don't need any of them to know say I'm in in charge. We don't need the election put, you don't understand? So as the matter don't deal like this, I fuck up. Yes. Now four couple for not they activate on behalf of Big Daddy. We need to show these people say now we they run this town before Big Daddy could come. You don't understand? See, Joel, I'm tell you something. All these things where they happen around they're not my problem. You no concern me at all. The only problem where I get now, now how to make sure say I no follow Big Daddy enter prison. So I see make I tell you now, make you no be say you now come begin find me. I come be say I don't mellow. I see make I take permission because as they be, I don't fall out, guy. Of course. Guys, I still value my freedom. As it be now, eh? I know they do again. I'm out of here and I will never return. See, uh, not let those things, not let her, not let her shake you, yeah? As you see those two people, so they be like, oh, well, they're not normal. You know, see that guy stand near me? Be like, oh, they go out to net every month end. See, deal with me. For this thing, why you deal like this now, so, eh? When Big Daddy show, you go benefit him. Huh? I mean, it's not easy, see? It's not easy for you to stand. Oh, boy, oh, boy, see? If you like, they are the fun with that here. Oh, mommy, I'm not going to follow you there, yo. I move. Even you when I say you get future, I don't know say cobweb still, still still tango your future. You move. Yeah, you know where you they move, they go. Sean Bio, they know they feed the see all this. Which kind they know they get rugged boys for this serious self. I can't believe this. How can you get pregnant without food? I am very disappointed in myself. I told you this because I feel I can trust you. Please, do not rub it in. I'm not rubbing it in. I'm just surprised. I'm just surprised. But you need to confront him. Seriously, you need to confront him. 
I heard he was arrested. Yes, but as we speak now, he is in this village. I saw him on my way here. He has regained his freedom as usual. You should not be surprised. How is that possible? I heard he was arrested by the federal police. It seems you don't know the amount of money that man makes by selling our lands. Yes, he was arrested, but as usual, he has regained his freedom. He is right here in Enua Bomimi with us. So, better run and go and confront him all. Are you not supposed to sit indoors for days to watch what is happening? Why are you leaving almost immediately? I don't understand. Stay indoors for days, I monitor what is happening now. Elizabeth, I'm not wired that way at all. You see that useless boy from Yokotabas? I'm going to prove to him that he's a stranger in this land. They took me unawares by arresting me. No problem, but I'm going to prove to them that in this jungle, I am the Lord. Please. You know, the way is aware of what happened. Eh? Are you going to challenge the Igbo also? Eh? Please go inside the house and stop compounding your problems. They are the ones that compounded their problems. In fact, they compounded the problems of Enu Abomewe when they decided to arrest a man of my caliber. Do you know what they did? They forced me to spend some days under police custody. But I am going to make them pay. Don't even try that. Remember you signed undertaking. Unless you want to spend the rest of your life in prison. You know, eh, Elizabeth, the more you speak at times, eh, the more it does on me, you don't even know the man you married. Listen, I am a law unto myself here in Inua Bomimi. Don't you never forget what happened. Just go inside the house, turn, on, turn the radio, put the radio on, you will hear what is going to happen. Okay, man, dear. Let me back, let me back. Chaluzo. I need you to get down to business. Mm. The men we are talking about are the enemies of my business. And anybody who has become an enemy to my business is enemy to my soul. And the person deserves no mercy. Yeah. <laughs> You said you want the man to run away from Inua Bomimi without looking back. Exactly. I want him to leave Inua Bomimi without anything. Not only that. I want him to completely forget everything about our land so that when he leaves, he will never come back again. Is that all? Mm -mm. The second one is that I want the king to become insane. I want him to start talking off the point. When a king is talking off the point, the people will notice that he has gone insane and no people wants an insane man to remain their king. When that happens, I am going to declare myself king and all the men who are already in my payroll will not raise any objection. If I can draw. I am that Omelese who has control over the seven spirits of the seven seas. I have never failed. Omelese, I know you. <laughs> and that is why I brought you all the way. And I ask you to come prepared and I can see you did. I am ready for everything and I know what you can do and I'm asking you to do it. <laughs> mm. 
all you seek are possible. But it will cost you more money. Much money in hard currency. I expect you to be saying how much already. I'm willing to knock on How much? Your husband brought this upon himself. And I have decided that he will no longer play any part in the administrative structure of this land. Your Majesty, I know of all you did already. My husband is not as evil as he paints himself. He's just trying to be relevant. And in the process, he has continued to create enemies for himself. That is not my problem. Let him go ahead and create all the enemies. And finally, I know that it is the same enemies that he has created for himself that will cripple him. Your Majesty, I came to beg you to please spare his life. I know the fate of someone that wants to dethrone the king. Yes, the spirit of the dead will be invoked against him. He will not survive. How did you know about that? Uh, well, I, I asked questions and I got scared. Your Majesty, we have three sons and two daughters in the Please, those are children of this land. Your subjects. Please, Your Majesty, forgive them. Forgive Ebigwe because of them. They will be rendered fatherless if you unleash the power of the king upon Ebigwe. I beg you, Onyeze, please forgive him. You are indeed a very wise woman and you have spoken well. Thank you, Majesty. I am going to forgive him because of those children. But I want you to take seriously the next thing I'm about to say. If he continues that madness of wanting to dethrone the king by wanting to be king, he will be the one to invite his own death. He doesn't even know what is happening. <laughs> Amaka, that idiot Amaka, came to my office to tell me that she is pregnant. Pregnant for me, of course. You don't understand. <laughs> you, don't, you don't trust. Listen, I told her point blank that I am excited with the news. And I asked her to keep the pregnancy. And I warned her that if anything should happen to that pregnancy, that she is going to disappear from the planet called Earth. I'll call you back. Because are you mad? You know, why would you punch it on my fist like a fool? What's the problem? What is it? I'm very angry. I am boiling. And I need an explanation. To what? Why are you not behaving yourself before me? Are you high or something or what? What's the problem? Look, you cannot shut me down this time around. You know exactly what I'm saying. No, I don't know. Really? So he went and sold that land. That land was the only remaining piece of land in our clan. After all we discussed, you went ahead and sold that land. Because you just sit down. I sold the land and so what? Is that not what we do? To sell lands? Listen, I will give you another land. You see that land? That was the only land that fits into the land the people that came to buy land described. And I decided to sell it. All of us are in this business of land racketeering, and you know it. So I will find the land that I'm going to give you that will actually make nonsense of the one I sold. So calm down, my friend. A big way. A big way. You know, nothing I respect, they make me they call you Big Daddy. The blessing you won't lose the respect. See, let me tell you something. Mark it somewhere. You will never have it your way this time around. My name is Najukwese. You need to ask very well.
You are a fool. Where's your choice in the war with a idiot? I don't blame you. I know many women in your shoes will do the same. But I'm going to confirm to you right here and now, I don't have anything to do with your husband. And if your husband has decided to take another wife, I'm sure it will be with someone he's already sleeping with. Who? Who is he? Please, don't misunderstand me. I'm not here to make trouble, honestly. I came to you as my fellow woman to help me talk some senses into him. I understand he worships the ground he march on. He is losing it. And if he doesn't stop, they will kill my husband for me. Please. I don't want to lose my husband. Please. I'm sorry, dear. I am focusing on my relationship at the moment. And I don't want to be distracted. I don't want to have anything to do with your husband. Thinking about that useless man. Who do you call the useless man? Isn't it a good way that I stand in you here? Come on, Six, you are bigger than this. Ebuwe is married, and we all know how much his wife loves him. And why would you even conclude he's the one I'm thinking of? Eh? I saw the used pregnancy kit that you discarded. Since you are not pregnant, why trying to cage him with pregnancy if you don't love him? I wanted to get him to pay me off, but that useless son of a devil actually thanked me and ordered me to keep the pregnancy. <laughs> How can you even keep a pregnancy when you are not pregnant? Madako. Hello. Welcome. Hold on. Maka, How are you? I'm fine. Let's go inside. Hey, wait a minute. You're going to hurry. Come down. I'm not here for those friendly, for that friendly visit. I heard you came looking for me. What happened? Because my beautiful wife gave me the information. How do you mean? How do I mean? Amaka, how do I mean? The beautiful damsel, the curvy woman you saw when you came to my house looking for me is my beautiful wife. Sweetheart. How is that possible? You, you, you got married and you never even explained to me that... Explain what? Amaka, what do you want me to explain? I looked for you. I wanted you. But you all rejected me. You told me and you said that I'm an umbrella. And I left. You don't expect me to tell you or inform anybody close to you that I want to get married. It's not done. Uh, mm. uh, does it mean it's a lie? Amaka. Amaka, you are very funny. I'm not here to explain to you if I'm an umbrella or a civil servant or what of you. 
I'm just here to tell you to stay away and stay clear from my wife, my family, and anything that has to do with me. I just came here to tell you not to look for me again. I said you want to see my beautiful wife. Come on, have a nice time. I don't love you. There is a problem. Is it money? Tell me how much you need and I'm going to provide it. This is a task and I want this task executed immediately. The man you are planning to send away cannot be sent out of this land. How is that possible? He is an intruder from Ekotabas, wherever that is. He has no inheritance amongst my people. Listen, Omelese, I just sold a parcel of land and the money is intact. Let me know how much you need extra and it is going to be provided. There is nothing you can do about this. It is not about the money. The Ikot Abasi man is now a landowner in this land. He has performed the ritual that make the land his land, so you cannot send him away. Mm -mm. When it comes to land in any abomeme, I am the authority that decides. I know every land in this town, and I can pinpoint the person who owns each of them. He has no land here. What are you saying? The guy is smarter than you. Is that supposed to be an insult? You are just fighting him with his money. The same money he got the king to bless for him. Is now a man of this land, and you cannot send him away. Melissa, you are saying too many things all at once. What do you mean by that? The last land you sold to raise the money to pay me was bought by him. Are you serious? You mean that Atlan, ordinary electrician from Ekotabas, has seven million naira to pay for that parcel of land? He is a millionaire, making legitimate money. The gods have blessed him with a daughter of this land, and their marriage will bring glory to this town. Who is this daughter you are talking about? Is it the same empire that I have already named my wife? Amaka. Yura, what are you doing here? Amaka, you're the original number one. So, and um, but then um, you're facing this level of confusion because you don't want to play your cards right. How do you mean? Okay. Mm, does it make any sense? You dying for the ones who are already married? Come on, they are young, cute guys like us. Amaka, just you take a look. You're missing out. Are you out of your mind? What? Do you want me to slap you before you learn to, 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 to define your boundary and, and restrict yourself to it? Abaka and all these kind of things where you did talk, all the many things where you did talk, and they put you for the mess where you did. Relax. See, what I'm trying to tell you is this. We, the boys, we know everywhere around the hood. Amaka, I can help you. Forget the boss. I can help you. Yes, can you just say what you have to say and stop beating about the bush? Okay, okay, okay. Let me break it. You and I know you're not pregnant. What? You heard me. Okay, you see, all these things, you just created them just to get to the boss. But as it has not worked, why don't you just look to the other side, Amaka? Look at us. Amaka, I can help you ravage this situation. Listen, get Relax. You, I, I just. You, you, you don't have to do. Amaka. 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 a joke in this town. Where do I hide my face? Where do I hide my face? Oh, hey, where do I hide my face? 
Amaka, Amaka, you have no face to hide. Ah, Amaka, you have no face to hide. Come. naive like other people that will listen to anything you say. I think it will be a problem to you. And you think I'm scared of him? Come on, give me a break, Elizabeth. I am still that deadly thunder that will strike anybody who challenges him. Can't you understand that? This may be the reason I was pushed to come back here. Please listen to me. If anything happens to you now, I will be the one to suffer. Will you just shut up. Shut up and stop making me believe that I married the wrong woman. How can you be saying nothing like this? You are scared or what? Now listen to me. That boy is a riffraff. And I'm going to grind him to a halt. Just take it from me. And alas. I don't really think so. Is this actually what you have become? No, Elizabeth. You are challenging me now? No. I am not challenging you, my dear husband. How can I challenge you? So what are you doing? I am just scared. Eh? Please, just listen to me. For him to break that lock shows that he's more than what you think. It's nothing. I just wanted to understand that he is only a fool. A fool who came into my land is exploring the advantages we have and then he's digging his grave in the process. I am going to bury him in that grave in this kingdom. Just relax about this thing. Don't allow yourself to be disturbed over a man. A man is a fool and I am going to make him a man to nothing. There are several things I have of, of I have up here in my head. It's not everything I want to be discussing with my wife. Just forget about that man. He's digging his grave. I will bury him in the grave. Either you or none other, baby. Just has to be you. I love you. Please, tell me you'll marry me. You're the best thing that has ever happened to me. Yes, yes, I'll marry you. <laughs> you must be a fool. To believe you can come into this land and pull this stunt. You see this lady here? She is my sister from my land. And she is the one I have already named my wife. So there is no, no amount of witchcraft we have brought from Ekotabas that will make her yours. I am giving you a count of five to detach that useless thing 
you have in her finger or I will kill you and bury you right in this land. Five, four, three, two. He who destroys the bridge must first learn to swim. And he who calls for rain should not fear thunder. You have just been hit with a stone given to me by the chief priest of Enua Bomini. If you eventually get to see again, you will learn what it means to be responsible. I told you, you will not see me coming. Fool. And arrange for the boys to tie him up. I'm more of you. Anything you want, you do everything you get. You want to be on top and be many best. You don't want to settle for anything less. Anywhere you there, people they fear. Even the waters they drive for your sake. People in pains, eyes filled with tears. One day the water for ground will cry. One day the sun will shine. Everything a matter of time. Nothing may last all that diggy day. The power you get today, you know they last. Oh, oh that diggy day. Nothing they last, oh. In my one, oh, that diggy day. The power you get today, you know they last. Oh, oh. Anything you want, you do everything to get. You want to be on top and be many best. You don't wanna settle for anything less. Papa get at you, Apo. Anywhere you dare, people they fear. Even the waters they drive for your sake. People in pains, eyes filled with tears. Papa get at you, Apo. One day the water for ground will dry. One day the sun will shine. Everything a matter of time. The power you get today, you know they last. Oh, oh that diggy day. Nothing they last, oh. They make one more. Oh, that diggy day.